Any mechanical in matter is number one to six in supplementary board. Seven to fifteen. Sixteen to twenty-four. Lordship's material. Serial number twenty-four. Uh, it's an regarding the interim relief, which was. Uh, oh, Lordship's matter at serial number twenty of the supplementary board. It is for assessment year 1718, where the alleged escapement is less than 50 lakhs. It can it can be taken up. Much of that. Seeking priority in the matter, we were not granted interim relief. Uh, only uh, interim relief pertaining to notice had been issued. Notice pertaining to interim relief had been issued. We were seeking stay, but the same had not been granted. So seeking priority in this matter. Up. 25 to 27 of supplementary board. Any mentioning in daily board, serial number 1 to 3? Serial number 2, your ladyship. Matter pertains to filing of the transfer. On last occasion, your ladyship has permitted to file the appeal before this court, but due to some personal difficulty on the part of petitioner, it has not been done. Requesting for a very short date. On... Next week, I'll your first March. Uh, learned advocate uh, six times as the appeal so far has not been preferred. First match. Yes, number four to eleven in daily board. Six to eight uh, to be placed before the bench where one of us, myself, not the member. Yes. Sale number four. Sorry. Sale number four in the daily board. Yes. Request for priority. All right. 12 to 21. Matter is number 13 and 14. Yes. For some accommodation, my lord. 13, 14? Please. Okay. So, condemnation of delay. Please, my lord. The, uh, it mainly de depends upon the outcome of my petition. Appeals before the tribunal, my lord. The order of tribunal has come yesterday. It has been uploaded. We need to study the application. 7th March. Please, my lord. 13, 14. Mr. Trivedi, 6 times. 7th March. <laughs> 22 to 30 or 24. Yes. Not to make you priority. Without joining us, they obtain stay from the division bench. We joined party. Proceeding as stayed, madam. Serial number 26, could it be taken on priority for interim relief? Serial number 26. 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 Serial that is supplementary. That's a supplementary board, Mr. Shah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we have noted in supplementary board. Hmm? Twenty-five. Hmm. <laughs> you want a fixing of early date of hearing? But I want to hurt because I'm neither I wish you the principal amount. No, can I can I complain? Suppl supplementary. Oh, it's a supplementary. supplementary. Not, not this point. <coughs> yes, Kajipai. Hello, my Lord. We've already crossed that. And we noted. Noted your request. Yes. I feel there is a sound. Noted your request. We've crossed that. This is a regular board. We have noted your request. We'll, we're going to take up the supplementary board first. Yes. 31 to 39, 40 to 45, 46 to 53, 50 minutes. Mm. This, this was a matter which was listed day before yesterday. I made an assurance. I assured your lordship that the municipal commissioner will be present. This the officer is present in the court. It's, we would be requesting for the honourable court to take this up on priority as per my lord's convenience. Okay. Since the officer is present. We just uh, take it up uh, accordingly. Maybe around 1.30? Not just 1.30. I'll inform you. Grateful. Grateful. Yes. Yes, Lord, we'll file it today in, the, in due course. It can be listed in the next week anytime.
51, right? Yes, sir, Lord. State ensures to find the reply today and a copy be served to the other side. The rejoinder, if any, shall come in a week's time. Matter shall be posted for hearing on 9th of March. Yes, Kajit. 54 to 58. Serial number 54, you know. Yes. Uh, I am mentioning on behalf of Mr. Tushar El Shed, uh, mm -hmm. with consent of Mr. Limani, some time may be given. Okay. Learned Advocate, uh, Mr. Shed uh, request for time. Mr. Limani has no objection. 9th March. Please, Your Lordship. Serial number 56, Your Lordship. Yes. Mentioning on behalf of Ms. Archina, we have instruction to appear for respondent number 2 and 3 with consent requesting for compliance. Yes, Archina. We are for the petition in that matter. 56 and 57 both are uh, connected. Matter. This can go. I have some. Uh, we have some urgency. Uh, some short date may be given. Matter. Subject to convenience. Right. You are appearing, Ms. Arshina, for Ms. Arshina. On. She has filed her appearance. She has filed her appearance. Both 56 and 57. Ms. Arshina, mean to file her appearance. She requires time. The other side has some urgency. Let affidavit and reply if needs to be filed to be done in two weeks' time. Rejoinder, if any, in a week's time thereafter, matter to be posted on 16th March. 59 to 61. Serial number 61, ma'am. This is a fairly lengthy matter. I've spoken to the other side. If it is convenient, can it be kept on the first, first of March? Who's appearing for the other side? I've spoken to Mr. Mir Soshi and Mr. Dhawan Mahal. Right. You want time? What you? What is your good name? My name is Vishwas Bambukar. Vishwas Bambukar. You are the party in person, party. right? All right. If first of March is convenient to the court, I'd prefer. Sorry? If the first of March is convenient but to the court, I'd prefer. 63 of 19, the party in person, Mr. Vishwas Bambukar, seeks time. Other side has no objection. As per his request, it is posted on 1st March. Thank you. Lord, any other mention? What is the May I request for urgent circulation of two matters for assessment in 1415? When do you want? 1415, next week. Uh, for tomorrow? No, not for tomorrow. Let it go now on 27th. Hmm? 27th. Hmm. It was yesterday. If it is notice is issued, not issued. No. All right. uh, it has been already posted on some day. Monday it has been posted. Let it be. Then there's no need for the circulation comment. of five matters for 13, 14, 14, 15. For tomorrow, if possible, or Friday. Let it go on, on Monday. On Monday. Huh? Monday. Please, May I seek circulation of one appeal for today? We are likely to lose possession. An order was passed yesterday in a town planning matter where a scheme is implemented. I'm beneficiary of a certain plot under the scheme. Possession was handed over to me. Somebody has questioned, was prior to handing over a possession to me, had filed a petition questioning the preliminary scheme. There was no interim relief. That petition challenges an order passed under Section 68, read with Rule 33. There was no interim order. The corporation implemented the scheme and gave the possession to me. I am not a party in that petition. When that petition came up, the petitioner of that petition made a grievance that this has all been done pending the petition. And therefore, it is overreaching the process, etc. Corporation came under pressure and made a statement that we'll take back the possession. So a notice is given, only 72 hours who notice. Are, who are you? I am the person who has been put in possession. Under the town planning scheme, a certain final plot. Are you a private person? Are you a company? I am a private person. 
I'm a private person to whom a certain final plot is allotted under the town planning scheme. Now the scheme has been implemented. The but it's a, it's a plot only. It's not a house. It's a plot. It's a plot. It's a plot. So, because we have been put in possession in pursuance of implementation of a scheme, in pursuance of an order passed in the 6833, which is under challenge. There is no interim relief. Corporation put us in possession. A grievance is made by that petitioner that this is overreaching, and because a statement is made. Permitted. Permitted. Okay. Okay. Lordship is requesting for urgent circulation of time. Let's let the other side to be actually. I, I like Mr. Nanavati is here. And Mr. Nanavati, just go through it and assist the court. Yes. Sir. Please, hmm? I will be here. Requesting for urgent circulation of few time marrying matters for tomorrow. Lordship. 13, 14, 14, 14. Let it go on Monday. Because in few of the matters, faceless assessment has issued a notice. That Faceless assessment, when, when have they issued the notice? Recently, uh, before a week. So, All right. It's getting time barred on 31st, no? Yes. So, so on 27th, that can be taken care of. Type copies. So all matters. Let's go type copies. Much, sure. much of them. Sure. With op why, what, are, what are the office objections? As such, the state of the SCA will be the only annexure, but right. if at all any are raised, therefore... I believe there won't be any, but if the, at all there is some technical object. Right. In second half, huh? Yes, it's not in the first half, you see. We're going to take the supplementary board first. Please wait. Yes. Overnight parted matters, the number 22 in supplementary mm -hmm. board, learned advocate general, assisted by Mr. Vinay Paragra and AGP, and in Anavati, learned senior advocate, uh, Mr. Devan Vyas, learned senior advocate, Mr. Jal Umbala, and senior advocate, Mr. Shah State, Mr. K. Mantani, Mr. Rahul Sharma, Mr. Kutkar Shtave, DR Post. Mm -hmm. It is interim. Why? It is interim. Has to be interim. Exactly. Has to be. And those judgments which are signed at the time of adjudication, for liberty is always there to make submissions. Today I am not making any submission on the judgment. So no, some of the judgments which is pressed into service also concerns the interim I relief. So, I mean, all those aspects, you can, both the sides are at liberty to. For final compensation, we may have to make some submissions if at all required. So far as interim is concerned, what I have today stated, which comes to 3.5 per thesis, and one for the injured. Statement of I have instructions to stay that as ad hoc stated from the beginning as the interview. Five for this is and the injured may remain the same because they are getting clearance. You know, we have got so far as we have whether it is to be pay if this is they will receive 10 weeks and injured they will receive two weeks. So this will be 15 lakhs as interim. So to see that the present immediate injuries are taken care of. For final compensation, the entire yardstick. This is what I am saying. This can go on, go on record. See, does anything to say? Yes, I mean, we gave you an opportunity. We had something in the mind and therefore uh, we had asked that uh, that grace should come from the party who knows as to how much is the misery and the sufferings. But if you feel that you have your own as councils, you may have your own limitations. We don't understand. And you can't take it beyond a... No, 
we appreciate that we appreciate that you have made your efforts you've uh, attempted to but then beyond that then of course i mean the court then will decide as to what needs to be done so so no it is that but i had time my boss you quite see that so the problem is different in the sense that this is for we were running like there are many uh, now things have come which i am not basing it to service at this stage they are staying why they are being reluctant in enhancing the amount but the uh, stands are will be a matter of my affidavit in the future and we had indicated it yesterday we had said that uh, the ratio which has been there it's right perfect. correct and i my mind was working on that Yeah, 55 40 that that is there i have to say, not only may but 1% more i'm 55% more we come to 1 from more and this we are talking of uh, what time the bhopal has happened so many years back when we we talking of how many years back so it is something uh, not that of uh, and 2022 also the the recent decision of the apex court also has been pressed into service so this is something you know which will need to be borne in mind for all of us and for no for for no reasons you know their life has been completely disrupted in this also it is not do you nobody can compensate it's just an attempt this is just an attempt how do you i mean so can you this is just taking care of those very true so So in a lit in a literal sense we I'm sorry if I have failed to serve your mind. No, no, the councils uh, we know that all of you, with all sincerity, would be making all attempts. Beyond a point, uh, nobody can do that. Then so for the court's function, no, then to be just we do understand, and we appreciate that you made an effort. Let me just take a call. Please.
Since the uh, learned government leader is here, I just wanted to know that uh, what is the status of uh, investigation? Um, I just verified. I can see. Right? Mm -hmm. so all the accused from the community are arrested. All of them are in charge. Right. So for a seven accused are concerned, who are employees, managers, etc. The charge sheet is fine. No, no, charge sheet is fine. So charge sheet is fine. The is concerned. Chairman and managing director. He is in judicial custody, no doubt. The charge sheet is not fine. The charge sheet is otherwise fine. For rest, charge. So for managing director and who else? Only one. Only one. CM, that is chairman of committee for managing. He has surrendered on thirty first of January. What are the provisions sessions committed? No, it is not committed. No, it's not committed. But sessions tribal? Sessions tribal. Sessions, sessions tribal. Sessions tribal. Sessions tribal. Yeah, no, no, sessions tribal. Sessions tribal. We have a copy of chat sheet. I'll give it. I'll you have it. Leonard, uh, uh, Advocate General, had said yesterday that your policy will be ready in about uh, 10 days' time. We'll give you 15 days' time for that, mm -hmm. since he said that, right? right. So that will be sufficient time for you. Any material sent to the FSL which is required to be uh, received back by the investigating agency for the purpose of uh, session style? I believe. <clears throat> we are still awaiting. We've, we are still awaiting the final FSL. Final FSL. Final FSL. It's not as yet. Written. No, we've received an interim, but we haven't received the final. It is expected within what time? Sorry. It is expected within what within time? Another two months. Two months. They usually take. The so in ordinary matters, in extraordinary matters, we've been pressing them, we've been requesting them. The latest instructions are committed to this. 
Sorry. Sessions. Sessions has been committed. committed. Okay. Why maybe? Why the other? Municipality, all office bearers have been suspended. Yes. And uh, the uh, entire body, uh, what has happened? No, the entire body is the body is superseded. Is not superseded. Not superseded. Super the notice, super uh, notice has been given yes, of. They have responded. There are two sets of affidavits with uh, responses which are five minutes. One uh, minutes uh, by around 47 people, minutes, those who were. Elected because the case of entire body is that we have been elected recently in uh, February only. And therefore, uh, it may not be uh, cast on us. But then there are two sets of reply. One by the uh, individuals who, uh, whose claim is that we got played at the hands of the erstwhile office bearer, who, despite there being no requirement, made us sign a rojka. That is one set of response. And then in detail, they have given their response. The other set of elected representatives, Milords, who are not office bearers in any capacity, their response is uh, Milords on a different line. More or less, uh, uh, this is their line of argument. And that is how Milords it is filed. No final decision. Superseding me is taken to no administrator as of now. No administrator as, in as appointed. Of, yes. So it is at large before Honorable uh, the authority, Milords, and after taking into consideration our reply and uh, Millards, uh, any hearing if they deem it appropriate to grant, mm -hmm. we have asked for it has not been granted so far. So in short, the process is on. It is yes at a crucial stage, almost uh, Millards, at a stage past halfway. The outcome of which you are expecting in about uh, two months' time. Objects. Less than that. No, I would not be able to commit to anything on that okay. because it is some independent government authority which is exercising. Okay. We'll say that one it, uh, because we need to also know about the process. Correct. We just needed to know the time factor. May not uh, just needed to know that it cannot go on for eternity. It has to be some time bound. Uh, yeah, time. They have, they have been very reluctant even in granting time to those members who sought personal hearing. Yes. And the personal hearing was denied. <laughs> so uh, they are on verge of minority. You know, that's how I said that we are uh, past halfway at least. Okay.
petition pil number 87 of 2022 you are representing whom petition number 2 man who is it who is it What do you need to add? Uh, I am submitting that page number 96 may kindly be seen. Hmm. Wherein the, the monthly compensation to the child whose mother and father both have lost mother. Their compensation is only rupees 3000 per month. That it, it requires to enhance to the you know, this is, That's a state government's policy for all those orphan children who do not have the parents. So they are trying to say that over and above whatever that has been given, these are the policies which yesterday the learned advocate general had pointed out, saying that they will be also benefited by these policies which operate for everybody. It's not for these only victims. Uh, in the uh, page number 96, right? It's serial number something... 8, C, 8 to 19, they, do, they are not Malod, receiving any compensation. Page number 96. 96, yes. yes. From 8 to 19, Malod. Hmm. They are not receiving the compensation in the Malod third column, Palak Masapita Yudna, 3000 per month, Malod. But uh, my effort to Malod enhance no, no. the compensation so that the please, education. Please wait. Please wait. These are the details of orphan children. These are the orphan children. Yes, and mother and father. Either of mother or father has lost me. Hmm. 8 to 19. But, but the compensation is required to be in uniform alert. And 3000 is very meager amount. Uh, this is my effort only alert, to enhance that compensation. 8 to 19, 8 to 19 is the detail. Maybe Lanet Gumpleta can um, assist here. Uh, please turn to the details of orphan children. They said both Page 95. 96. 96. Mm. Details of orphan children, yes. Uh, <clears throat> so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You find uh, they are being given the Palak Mata Pita Yojana benefit. Right. And Satyavadi Raja Harishchandra Yojana. That also is being given to those children. Samuik Jukta. Akasma Bhima Yojana. Samuik Yojana is given to one child only. Vahesh by Makwana. His grievance is that to 8 to 19, uh, Rahul, Nita Ben, Feroz, Jala Pravin Singh, Khalifa, then Makwana and Chavda Hiren. 
they are not being granted this palak mata are they the orphans no but no they are the ones who lost one parent one parent, one parent. so it is available to only those, those children who lost both, both the parents so yeah. they will they will be getting uh, those of them who lost one parent will be getting as per these schemes the rest of the rest of the scheme ऑर्गेनाइजेशन another another organization one family which is given so, is for those who have lost both the correct the correct total or hmm now i also stated hmm that till they take majority will be responsible including for their future employees so either of the parents lost or both the parents lost both the parents yes, lost hmm करेक्ट this fixed deposits is uh, will be available to them after they attain majority yes yes or then will then it be in a fixed deposit but then will it be available to them uh, during the course of their studies or uh, settlement in the business or profession wherever what are the terms any idea you know i'll take instructions on the terms you i personally it. don't have any doubt okay. i'll get instructions so for now for the parents or those guardians who are looking after them the amount available is the 4 plus 4 plus 2 yes that's right that much the rest will refer to it okay and this one family which is personally uh, awarded the amount either 1 lakh or 2 lakhs that is available or is that a fixed deposits no no that is available that is available that is available Okay, it's some local family in Morbi. Yes, that is available. Yeah. Okay, fine. They are getting twelve lakhs. Mm -hmm. I will count this. So eight plus four. And eight plus four. Eight plus four. I am saying that serial number eight to twelve. Eight becomes sixteen. Eight to nineteen. Malar. It now becomes sixteen. Where in Malar? Twice two pairs. Twice eight becomes sixteen. Yes, eight becomes sixteen. Why do you say that? Both the parents. Both the parents. This is one deceased for eight lakhs. Two deceased become sixteen. And uh, the the guardian. We double it. Two becomes two. Two becomes two. So this that will be limited to only seven of the children. Yes. Who seven. have lost both yes. the parents, right? But even the not even if you lost one parent, mm. the amount comes to somewhere between your uh, twelve lakhs. Thirty-six. Um, the total comes to thirty-five. We we not calculating that twenty-five lakhs because nobody is uh, right now uh, sure as to when is it going to be helpful to the child. Well, so, so eight lakhs for parent remains hmm. for loss of one parent, and two, two lakhs, lakhs for PM relief fund, and the one lakhs by way of life. Serial number eight to nineteen. Malot out of malot. Twelve percent, my lord. There are, my lord, relation with caretaker. Caretaker is a mother in eight cases. Probably, my lord, mother is not earning person. Earning person, they have lost, my lord. Therefore, this compensation on page number ninety six may be also extended to them for their uh, education and other part. Because out of twelve, uh, my lord. Eight are mother caretaker are mother. All right. Page number ninety five. Take a note of. Hmm? Please. And if possible,
do we request learned government data? Our concern also is that whether actually it reaches to the child. We do not want that to get frittered away. What is the way to ensure that part? Ordinarily, when a parent takes care, parents don't. No, no, it's not a parent's. It's just for those children who are orphans. And here also, even the, the mother, Justice Bhatt also is right now, you know, is little concern about this is wherever the mothers, if they're not educated, you're you getting our concern. Then is to put it in a fixed deposit and the amount comes by way of interest. And the child would get it at a certain age on acquiring majority. Yes, like but would that amount then suffice? Because this with this amount, can you find out as to whether this 25 lakhs they're going to give any any interest of that to the uh, you know I lady will, because it is rightly being pointed out that most of the time if you lose the person who's earning then in that case is it is it being made available or it's going to go straight to the child because it's not the child alone one can understand that for those children who are orphans who are young 25 lakhs you may be you know contemplating to give them when they come at the right age but so far as these uh, ladies are concerned who are looking after the as single parent, is you know, the interest going to them, be available? To them what is made available by the state government is 8 lakhs for, for one parent, 2 lakhs by way of PM, which is 10 lakhs. And if the mother is looking after, my Lord, one doesn't apprehend that the money would be frittered away against the interest of the child. Third person, one can understand. Parents will, would protect the interest. We need to make it available for education. I'm not sure whether if we put it in a fixed deposit, we get enough interest to look after their regular needs. So when the amount is given, it's given cash? No, my Lord, it's given in the bank. No, no. So yes. Cash in the sense is a bank. Yes, in the bank. It's transferred in the bank. It's readily made available. Therefore, we're looking to this component some portion or a large portion is in a fixed deposit. Some remains in a liquid format, which makes it easily accessible. And it would be with her signature. You know, sir, one, one aspect that the Honorable Court may take note of, you know, as I understand, as I recollect you know, from the submissions made by learned advocate general, which of course my learned friend is privy to, is that so far as education of those children are concerned, it probably is already taken care of till they may not complete their education. So all these things are over and above their educational uh, requirements being met with. Subject to Milord she No, who is taking it, care of that education part of uh, it? Uh, Milord Educate General, uh, Milord's couple of years that had made this submission. There are institutions as also state government which are taking collective effort there. This is all. Not only the education part, even the employment part. Something that fell from Milord's... Uh, that is for orphans, for those seven children. Even for those, even for those who have lost one parent, Milord, there is some arrangement. Just the Honorable Court may keep it in consideration since I am privy to that submission that was made earlier. A, a specific instructions can be taken. And the least the corporation can do is to take care of that of that it's part. Clear. It's, and that is how you know, it fell from the state government. And therefore, I would leave it to the state government to tell it to the Honorable Court so that they you know, observe. It goes as theirs. <laughs> All right, you can have a seat. The read petition PIL 87 of 2022. Sorry. Sure. The petitioner. Pursuant to the, you can see the pursuant to the order passed by this court on 25th January 2023. There were certain directions which were necessary. To be. 
implement it. We have heard extensively the learned advocate general who has pointed out to this court. Gajarbhai? Gajarbhai? My lords have taken instruction. Yes. The amount in the fixed deposit, hmm. the interest enduring thereon is to be paid, will be paid. On a regular basis. On a regular basis. was uh, argued before this court that uh, there are 461 breaches under the Urban Development Department. No repairs are required for 398. 348 are with the municipal corporations and 131 with the municipalities. Whereas 1441 are under road and building department where there is already a policy in existence. There is a performa for inspection report which is pointed out to this court from the annexure R4 which gives the details of inspections and observations. It is also his submission that pre-monsoon period and in post-monsoon or monsoon period, this measure is undertaken. From the affidavit of 25th January 2023, so you can into bracket pair of 5.4, it has been pointed out that the, for the breaches falling within the purview of corporation and the municipalities, as per the prevalent practice, respective corporations and municipalities are looking after the aspect relating to inspection and maintenance of the breaches coming within their jurisdiction. The need for formulation of uniform policy in this behalf is accepted with a further say that uh, this aspect is under serious consideration of the state government which would come out with the requisite policy at the earliest. All the development authorities in the meantime, in charge of the respective breaches in the state have already been directed to carry out inspection and start taking the required remedial measures. The major breaches which require remedial measures in the form of minor repairs are 23 numbers and 40 of them require major, the, uh, major repairs. A chart uh, also is annexed for the said purpose, for, for depicting the said aspect.
at an extra R5. You can reproduce this or can scan it and we'll place it along with it. It has been ensured to this court that this uh, formulation of the policy will be completed in 15 days time since it is underway. For any grievance with regard to the compensation, it is urged that the amount of rupees 8 lakhs has already been dispersed in favor of the victim, victims by the state and amount of rupees 2 lakhs had gone from the it is from the Prime Minister's Fund. You see it? It's a yeah. Prime Minister's Fund. Or uh, any grievance? Anywhere. The same can be written to a dedicated uh, portal called Write to CMO, the address of which is as follows. You can write this CM gujarat.gov.in and the WhatsApp number of the CMO for the state purpose is 7030-930-344. It's further urged by the learned advocate general assisted by the learned government leader that the education of all children regardless of their survival of one parent is being looked after by the state also. As there are agencies for the state purpose, attention is also drawn of some of the assistance over and above the amount which has been given by way of compensation. By pointing out at the Palak Matapita Yojana, which gives 3,000 per month to the child who is orphan. Ganga Swarup Sahai for the lady who has lost the husband. Satyavadi Raja Arishandra Yodhna. Why? How is Satyavadi Raja Arishandra Yodhna comes into picture? Satyavadi Raja Arishandra Yojana is available to whom? Rupees 5,000, you see it. Yes, sir. For Samuhik Chuth Chanta Akashmat Vima Yojana, the amount is of one leg. The E Shram card, Shramik Marnotar Antyeshti Yojana, APMC insurance is one leg and 50,000. The Soil Health card, the PMJ, NFSC card, and Ujwala Yojana are those where. Many of them are entitled. What is that? What is that? Yes. Anybody has got any ideas? I'm told that so far as education is concerned, hmm. for those that are orphans, respondent number seven, that is Mr. Nanavati, had assured that they would be taking care of the education. It's no, not no. the state. No, no. Thing. You have said that education, we have many policies and many, many of the schemes. The education for all concern is being taken care of. He hasn't said for these particular children. He said even otherwise, as per your schemes. But that is him or the... I yeah, he has said for those seven children. Okay. He has said for seven children. And Leonard Advocate General has said, we have many schemes where we are taking care of. Right. So our officers are even otherwise taking care of. No, we just wanted to know about this uh, 5,000 of uh, Satyavadi Rajaj. Yes, it is caste-based, caste therefore. It's okay. given to certain. Therefore, my laws would notice that some are not receiving. That scheme is such. Okay. 
So it's available to the scheduled cast? Yes. Yes. Maybe. I mean, it's a basically state's uh, scheme. So. Paragraph, so far as the municipality and municipal corporation is concerned, the learned uh, senior educate Mr. Devang Vyas has been uh, representing this uh, municipality as a that uh, there are four affidavits already been uh, filed. This had been in the, the bridge had been entrusted to the private companies. There are already inquiries initiated as to the manner in which the powers have been exercised and the actions have been taken. According to him, the unfortunate event had occurred. The handing over of the management was also pointed out to this court and the lead and chief officer has made many correspondences. There was a difference in the price of uh, the fees to be taken from the visitors and therefore there was no permission granted and yet the Oreva group insisted that all conditions were fulfilled and had initiated this such circumstances. In a sealed envelope, the details have been already provided to this court. The rehabilitation part is uh, taken care of by the state government. The policy decision has also been taken. For inspection and ensuring that no calamities happen in the future. He further has ensured that each corporation has this mechanism. It is further to say that uh, pursuant to the direction of this court, given the notices to the concern uh, office bearers. Some of them have been elected recently. There are two groups who have answered it and the process for superseding the entire body is uh, in the process where the notices have been issued and there is a separate body which is already taking care of this aspect. The process is almost halfway and it is at a crucial stage, outcome of which shall be placed before the court. Learned uh, Senior Advocate Mr. Narawati, assisted by Learned Senior Advocate Mr. Unwala, has uh, urged in relation to the compensation by stating that the state government had responded to it immediately. And amount of rupees 10 lakhs has already been given to each victim. There are other funds which have flown and therefore for present, he has instructions to deposit the amount of rupees 5 crores by way of interim relief. There are 134 victims, therefore 
for uh, the diseased it would come to 3.5 lakhs whereas for the injured it will be 50,000. There are 134 deaths and 56 injuries. Uh, you also had for the rush that this is by way of an interim relief. It is also going to take care of all the children who are orphans right from their education to their studies and the handholding will continue till they get settled. And it is a commitment from the company. <clears throat> Paragraph on the part of uh, learned uh, advocate Mr. Rahul Sharma. The insistence was uh, for enhancing the amount of compensation for which he has relied on three of the decisions. You can write down all the three. He's also urged that previously this court had uh, pointed out that the compensation in terms of Sarla Verma, 1989, 3 SEC page. 38 would be necessary. He has also relied on Union Carbide decision 2005, 9 SSC page 586. 2005, huh? 2005. The three categories of the cases which have been demarcated by the Apex Court, according to him, in a recent decision of 2022 SSC page 203. Where at an interim stage, his insistence is so 55% should be the compensation to be given by the private party and 45% by the state. The state has deposited, nothing has come from the private parties. Learned advocate, Mr. Koshti, has uh, pointed out from the chart which has been produced that some of the children have uh, lost their father and they're now being looked after by the mothers who themselves are not the bread earners and the amount which they've received is uh, not sufficient for them to sustain he pointed out that many of them are not even receiving the amount uh, under the Palak Matapita Yojana. That aspect needs to be taken care of by the court. Very good. Uh, before <clears throat> the end of the session, we had uh, given an opportunity to the other side to, to, to uh, learn it. Uh, this is respond number seven, right? To the respond number seven. And learned uh, city council, Mr. Nanavati, representing and with learned senior advocate, Mr. Unwala, had ensured that further instructions with regard to the compensation should be obtained. Today, in the first session, when the matter started, it had been urged to state that the company is ready to enhance this amount to rupees five lakhs to each deceased and amount of 50,000 is saved for the injured. And 50,000 more for the injured. This being the interim uh, compensation according to him, the right be kept open for the respondent to argue at the time of final hearing. He has further urged that the company has also taken care of the children who have become orphaned and all the requirements throughout their lives will be looked after by the company and that part needs to be also taken care of. He has urged that most of the, 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 the male members are in the jail and uh, 
the directors, the women directors are to now take care of everything. It will be difficult for them to manage more funds. Paragraph having the sir both the students. It's also subjected as per the case of Sarlabha. The composition can be noted and what has been pointed out by the other side is in relation to the interim relief and not the final order in relation to the compensation paragraph. Epic Court in case of Sanjay Gupta versus State of Uttar Pradesh, 2022, 7 SSC, page 203. was considering in relation to the victims of fire tragedy which occurred on the last day of the India Brand Consumer Show organized at Victoria Park Merit with the Pradesh by Mirana event and expositions. That event had claimed the lives of 65 persons and left 161 or more with one injuries. In relation to determining the liabilities and also considering the compensation for them, the court held that where life and personal liberty have been violated, the absence of any statutory provision for compensation in the statute is of no consequence. Right to life guaranteed under Article 21 of the Constitution is the most sacred right preserved and protected under the Constitution. Mm -hmm. A violation of which is always actionable and there is no necessity of statutory provisions as such for preserving that right. Mm -hmm. Article 21 of the Constitution has to be read into all public safety statutes. Comma. Since the prime object of public safety legislation is to protect the individual, and to compensate him for the loss suffered. What's the duty of care expected from the state or its official officials functioning under the public safety legislation is therefore very high. You can also write the para 22, 23. No, just 20, 22. Fifty four and fifty five. Court also had for compensation, payment of compensation and read petition and article thirty two or two twenty six set. Pointed out the three categories of the cases. 
Where are 16, 17, and 18? Referring to the decision of DAV Managing Committee versus the Bali Fire Tragedy Victims Association, the court held that an appeal was filed by the school disputing the liability of payment of compensation. The court did not interfere with the percentage of liability reduced to 55% by the court from 80% by inquiry commission. Referring to the decision, this very decision does say that the joint and several liability of the school which organized the function and the respondent, the owner of the venue, would be 55%. The remaining liability would be borne out by the state. Is of MCT versus uh, assistance of victims of a bar tragedy. Supra. The compensation to the victim by way of an interim relief was the issue dealt with in this decision. The court held us paraten. Ease of Union Carbide Corporation versus Union of India. Supra. It was a case of Popal Gis Gis Lake disaster. Under the tort law, According to the Apex Court, there was a strict liability, the liability of an industry to pay the compensation for loss of a state and the determination of just and reasonable compensation was under consideration. In assessing the quantum of interim compensation, there was a need for require, there was a need for adapting the standard of compensation usually awarded in fatal accident actions or personal injury actions arising under the Motor Vehicle Act. Court held us Para 19. Twenty. Denying the adoption of uh, standards, ordinary standards, which would apply to motor vehicle case, the court had referred to the decision of MC Mehta versus Union of India, 1987, 1 SSC 395, holding that the measure of damage is payable by the alleged tort fizzles as per the nature of tort involved in the suit has to be correlated to the magnitude and the capacity of enterprises because such compensation must have 
a deterrent defect as well. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, right up to twenty eight. Court needs to also take care. Um, need to bear in mind the decision of the Ankush Sivaji Gaikwad was the state of Maharashtra, year 2013, Supreme Court, page where the Apex Court was uh, concerned in an appeal arising from the judgment and order of the High Court with the amount of compensation granted while awarding the punishment. Referring to various decisions The court has held that the power of the court to award the compensation is not ancillary to other requirements, but in addition thereto. The long line of judicial pronouncement of the court recognizes in no uncertain terms a paradigm shift in the approach towards victim of crimes. Were held entitled to reparation, restitution, or compensation for loss of injury suffered by them. 29, Vera, 30. Thirty-five. Bearing in mind all these decisions, particularly recent visit of the Apex Court. This court notices that even at the stage of interim compensation, the criteria which have been laid down shall be broadly followed. And therefore, at the present stage, when the respondent number seven has offered the amount of rupees five lakhs for each. Deceased for the survivors of the deceased in the amount of rupees one lakh for the injured, even while not adhering to the 55% of 
the apportionment which we could notice in the said judgment, at least the matching amount of 50% would be necessary to be directed. The state and the center of the income mine has dispersed the amount of rupees 10 lakhs to each deceased left the amount for from the respond number seven shall be the amount of rupees 10 lakhs to each one and rupees Rupees two legs for the injured. In addition to the amount which has been Spawn number seven shall be made available for distribution to the Claimants statement, the balance amount shall be invested with the nationalized bank to be made available for distribution consistently with the final decision of this court. But from that amount, the interest on a quarterly basis shall be made available. The amount shall be directly. You would want the state and the reserves authorities to look after that. The member secretary, state legal service authority shall ensure this. On uh, ascertaining the details of uh, all victims, the amount <coughs> shall be dispersed. The appellant shall, the appellant has already offered the amount of rupees five lakhs to each victim and rupees one lakh to the injured. Let that amount be deposited within is Mr. Onwala or uh, Mr. Nanavati is not there. Anybody from his office? That's it. You are depositing it. Uh, in, huh? All right. No, no. Within what time, Mr. Sh uh, Mr. Nanavati has said that they're going to deposit? Yes. Yesterday, two weeks. He was saying about two weeks yesterday. So just inquire because uh, today we'll grant them uh, four weeks' time to so do it. So there's a one month shall be sufficient for them. So for the and the, the amount which they had offered for the additional amount, one more month. So there shall be within the period of one month. For the additional amount, the four more weeks for depositing the amount with the state legal service authorities. 
for the purpose of arranging the funds. In coordination with the um, district legal service authorities and the full time secretary. Okay. The member secretary shall ensure uh, disbursement of the amount. Let them if they find difficult in case of conflict. Otherwise, I guess. Before we actually uh, direct some of the things, since you're in the making of the policy, you may just look at this. Gajabai, please give it. The children who are orphaned, seven in number, page ninety five. Children who are orphaned and lost both the parents are named at this. There are seven children, or there are only five children. Orphan are seven. seven. Could you please tell us the names exactly? Which are the names? Hardik, Mahesh, Ashokba, Bhupendra Bhai, and Mukesh Bhai. We don't find seven names. The name of the child is in the third column. These are the name of the deceased. Hmm. The third column, uh, Jidas, Hardik Bhai, Fondu. Where, where do we be? No, no, but yeah, sure. Page 95, 95. Page 95? 95. Serial number, then the name of the deceased? Jians. And name of the child? Vandana. Harshi. Yes. Harshi. Shivam. Shivam. Mitraj. Mitraj. There are seven. Narendra and Prithviraj. Yes. They are okay. the ones. And this is the age of theirs. 1, 5, 15, 6, 8, 15, 13, 7. These are the names that from 95 you can take these other. That respond number seven is ensured to take the care of these children of every nature for their education, medical care, their residence, their uh, also being. Okay. 
HST in the respective professions when they actually complete the studies. Over and above this requirement, there are a couple of uh, schemes which have been pointed out to this court by the Learned Advocate General, assisted by Learned Government Leader. We have taken note of the same earlier. For the education of these children and others who have lost the fathers, let those officers working in the field also take due care as there are various schemes under which they can be covered. For the purpose of the medical requirements of uh, those of them who have sustained the injuries. It has been given to understand that the care is taken. If there are some of them who have sustained the injuries which would require a longer care, it is expected that the state would take due care of those victims for the psychological trauma suffered by these victims and the families. The need for the reference to the counseling centers would be a must and more particularly those orphans who are misfortunate to have lost both the parents. If need be so, the reference can be also made to the National Forensic Science University's Center for well-being as one of the cells takes care of the need of the victims and their counseling. The online counseling since is also available with the university and the center. that handholding on the part of the municipal municipality from Morbi, and if need be through the district legal service authority to be taken care of. Paragraph, we are given to understand that except for the chairman and managing director who had surrendered on 31st January, 2023, for the rest of the accused, the charge sheet has already been filed, a copy of which has been tendered by the learned Government leader uh, today on record. Learned Senior Kit, Mr. Nanavati, on instruction, has also submitted. The matter is now committed to the Court of Sessions. However, the FSL report has not as yet come, and according to the state, this may take about two months' time ordinarily. The request shall be made to the Forensic Science Laboratory to expedite the same. In case of the Chairman and Managing Director, the investigation shall be completed on an expeditious basis. There shall be an expeditious 
diagnosis so far as the criminal trial is concerned? And any difficulty at that stage can be ventilated before this court. Paragraph. With regard to the procedure of uh, supersession of the entire body of the municipality in wake of the submissions made before this court and the process being underway. The final outcome shall be reported to this court. Let the procedure in accordance with the law be followed before the final decision is taken. Paragraph. Have you seen that? Yes, I'm glad to see that. Book. The Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways is a Ministry of Government of India, which is the apex body for formulation and administration of the rules, regulations and laws relating to the road transport, transport research. To its central engineering services gather, it is responsible for the development of national highways of the country. There are certain autonomous agencies under the Director General, which are the National Highway Authorities of India, National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation, Indian Roads Construction, Indian Academy of Highway Infrastructure. The breach maintenance of the highways is by the National Highway Authority of India. The border roads organization handles the bridges on the border and the railway takes its own care. The bridges everywhere else belong to the public works department. For the policy which is being prepared, we would like this material available to be reproduced so that the care can be taken and the expert assistance of uh, these bodies can be taken for ensuring that the system which has been established to develop the data in digital form to identify, survey, and inventorize the number of breaches, other structures, and also identify the distress bridges requiring immediate attention and to sensitize the concern implementation agency for taking corrective measures such as repairs, rehabilitation and reconstruction can be taken care of. You can reproduce this entire thing. In days by then you can produce the policy before this court. Let the matter be fixed after two weeks, by which the policy will be finalized, and the same can be placed before this court. Mr. Nuala, in your case, we have perceived the two weeks of the amount which you had already offered to this court at that time. And we have also said additional amount, the matching amount. We have not said 55%. We have said 50%. 50% of what the state has already, state and the center combined has already offered. 
So the 10 legs they've already done, you'll be doing 10 legs further. So uh, this five legs, which you've said, you'll deposit within two weeks and the remaining uh, for five legs and two legs uh, for uh, the injured. So that will be uh, 15 days further. And we have uh, entrusted this uh, to the member secretary legal service authority for it to uh, actually disperse it. And it will also uh, be taking the help of all government officials who are in uh, this again. You can give it to us. Serial number one in supplementary board, Mr. B.S. Soparkar, and Mrs. Kalpana Rawat. Yesterday, yesterday, Mr. Rawal said that uh, it is one and a half months after that you had received that uh, detail. So the information is subsequent to the assessment order. Okay. the right and bottom the information was uploaded on 15th of march 2021 So what is the verification details that you send Lakshmi Diamond's issues to fake bills and this is what you received? Yes. Anything it else? It was uploaded on 15th of March 2021. The assessment order is of 25th January. So therefore, the information subsequent to the assessment order. Where do we find that date? First page 15. This inside portal is hmm. right uploaded on 15th March. And what is the date of assessment? What is the date of assessment? 25th of January 2020. 25th January 2021. 21. Okay. So two months prior to, or one and a half months prior. Oh, no. If nobody's there for Mr. Uh, Saparkar's office, let them, somebody wants want to. We have heard both the sides. We will pass the order. Yes, good job. I am the next no, no, it doesn't matter. We know that this is money. Great.
serial number two, Mr. Amar Bhatt with Mr. Archit Jani, Learned Government Degree. The short submissions which I have prepared. Because, uh, this is just a gist of the submissions which I have already made with canvas before the Honorable Court at Great Bank. As far as the policy question is concerned, is, uh, it is our says that well, we have tried our level best well, to see to it that all these schools adhere to the policy. Pursuant to the policy, well, the textbooks have been also uh, printed. I had uh, on last occasion as I had uh, given the honorable court even for the kind perusal. Uh, those textbooks have been uh, printed by the GCERT, uh, bearing only few schools, uh, which is a small number. Uh, almost all the schools are in fact teaching uh, Gujarati as a compulsory language. Uh, uh, so far as those schools which are not teaching, uh, they have given assurance that from the coming sessions they will be uh, incorporating compulsory education of the Gujarati language. Uh, other aspect was with respect to nodal officer was I highlighted in my submission that as far as the nodal officers are concerned, was under uh, the DEO, was, there would be uh, right. education inspectors as, as well as the assistant education inspectors was, who are actually required to carry out the monitoring and inspection of the schools. Was, that part is also taken care of and we must pass necessary instructions that they would do periodic inspection of these schools so that it may be seen that the policies were uh, strictly adhered to. And as, uh, so far as the implementation of this policy while granting the NOC is concerned, I have attached the latest NOC certificate which incorporates this policy as one of the condition which has to be uh, strictly imposed. <clears throat> and even as this uh, future as ramifications, if my laws may see, it can go to the extent of as, cancellation of their NOCs. Square that was our entire endeavor is to see that the policy is was implemented and we have never taken it as an adversarial litigation. Please. But yesterday I had made tendered uh, our gist of what our uh, submissions and suggestions were. You know. May I just hurriedly take your lordship? We have gone through it. Please. The uh, only uh, aspect is if your lordship can see our suggestions on page 12. Not in uh, para 2, we don't have quoted two Supreme Court judgments which say that such policy decisions have are, are constitutionally valid. So we don't quote. Those are the two decisions. Then where do where do we find that? Uh, para Roman 4 on page 3. No, on page 3 of my submissions, Para Roman 4. The quotation is also there from the mm. Maharashtra. Usha, Usha Mehta. Yes. There we Lord Maharashtra had come out with a policy decision then to teach Marathi in all schools. That was challenged then. Gujarati schools there in Mar uh, Maharashtra, they were required to teach Marathi by this judge. Even Gujarati schools. Then we wrote uh, uh, in Para small b on page 5. In Karnataka, Kannada was thought to be taught mandatorily, and that was also challenged. And then Supreme Court said, and after uh, there is a quotation by in the Supreme Court judgment itself, Gandhiji's quotes are there. For their, for their mental development. No, 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 no. I'm just backing it. All these aspects. Members. I'm not saying no, no. that. He is saying that this has also been baked by the Supreme because Court. Some observations. It will stand so in your hands. You don't need. I mean, we know. We know that you've taken it when it's all right, Ernest. We also conscious that you made an effort to see that it happens. But all he's trying to point out is that there's something which the Supreme Court also has said that yes, you need to. And there are other states have also made the 
therefore there is no denial to all these aspects there is nobody is controverting no, no i am not saying that but some some observations with this will not other in future will avoid future challenge to the gr that is the only intention we have said that this is a policy decision that that is in line with supreme court judgment that is what we have said yes there are reference there is reference to the laws passed by other states there is a reference to education policy then about why article 29 historical perspective about gujarati language and then comes the suggestion below on page 12 you know there say is that oh, municipal school are not implementing but there we have dispute but that that's a different we are not going in the number game if we number of schools may be less you know but number of children will be much more so ultimately it is meant for children that statistics if your lordship wants i have i have been you not know, according to them 23 schools students number of students would come to about 29440 and if our data is correct then the number of students will be much more but that we are not going in ultimately they have shown readiness to to see that this circular is implemented to the dot that is what we want Uh, the suggestions are on page twelve. You know, first is uh, about regular and effective inspection. second is about intimating the schools that from the next academic year they will have to mandatorily teach third is about the consequences for non compliance and making the schools aware about what will be the consequences if required they can come out with other under the circular or they can inform the schools about the specific law we will make a, our representation is on so of, of course it can't be part of directions in fact i have we have suggested from our own experience that mandatory refresher course for teachers also should be there but that also we will make a separate representation and so far as kvs schools are concerned we will be making separate representation It is not in your written submission. As per your written submission, who is petition? The petitioner is a registered person. I have mentioned about the paragraph. Mark two. 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 He pass an order. Petition uh, is around M T R U. The petition here in the because of the lordship is right. In fact, we would have been happier drafting it in Gujarati, but <laughs> the representations were uh, on a lighter side. All are in English. So What can there are but subsequently they have made some representations yes, in Gujarati. All right, the, around the, around four fifty. The education officer, the secretary is also, you know, for his understanding, this was in English. They were all not Gujar, non Gujarati. In fact, uh, this was a transfer from the first court to us. Yes. So, uh, at the relevant point of time, yes. it was transferred because uh, of the Gujarati language. 
So I think uh, we are so indeed obliged for your so lordship. I want to peruse the textbooks also because I have done last occasion given it for the perusal of the honorable court. But if my lords are desirous of this, I have also brought along. That we have said standard wise when we have uh, according to this is all available everywhere. Yes, it's yes, everywhere. Yes, yes. I have personally bought it. All all books I have from personally. online. No, no, on the, from the bookstores. stores, bookstores. From the bookstores, which bookstores? I mean, you have earmarked some of the bookstores? Or no, you all bookstores have it. Because I, I bought it from CG Road, Rajini Bookstore. I bought it. Everywhere it is. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, for Because of uh, some of the fresh matters we want to take up, we will pass the order around for 15. Please. Please. Hmm? We'll be here. Oblique. Yes. Oblique okay. for a patient. Please. Number three, Mr. Chitendra Patel and the government leader. It's an application for restoration, which was dismissed as per the office objections. You removed the office objections, you're not removed. Only one objection was that I could not say affidavit because client was not able to come. That was the only objection. But the last day, the Honorable Court has dismissed the matter, Madam. So this is a restoration application with a request that it will be restored and two weeks time will be given so that that time I can remove that office objection. Who will be appearing? Nobody, right? Fresh. It's a fresh matter. Is anybody from state is a party here? Yeah. Yeah. Not aware of the... Oh, yesterday it's, talking it's about office as, objections. It's office objections. Prayers sought for as para 10. Noticing, uh, we learn at uh, AGP as a uh, wave service. Considering the submissions, we are inclined to consider and exit to the request. Let office objection be removed in a week's time. Week's time? No, two weeks because of which paper may be take time to reach the That is the only if not done within that stipulated period. No, yes, yes, there will not be access. No further. Lord Sir, I'll take two weeks. I move. They are stored accordingly. Okay. Once removed in city or term, the beach, the same be brought before this court. Okay. Number four, Mr. Harsh Parekh, my my Hawaii's file signal. My leadership, this is the uh, matter my leadership remembers that my leadership was writing the judgment when the act changed and my leadership had to send it back to the Mesana district court and my leadership's judgment said that with regret that my leadership in view of subsequent to that just two months later the said section was struck off correct so we moved uh, because my when my leadership passed the judgment it was a correct judgment so we moved a uh, writ miller my leadership in that we succeeded that the matter should not go to Mahesana and remain with this honorable court. That order was passed. Against that order, an LPA was filed. And while no orders of stay was passed in the stay application, the order of notice has been shown to the execution court and the execution again has been stalled because we are still at the 48th stage. Okay. This is from 2016. Okay. We, we can understand. This is almost five years, so that we will yes, be And my leadership. Is this a, we will uh, fix the matter on a particular day, and so that you know you can proceed with the same. This is an application. Who's coming up for the other side? Mr. Haba. Mr. Haba is on a today. He's on a seek not. He has any objection, any idea? I mean, there can't no, be because I, of the very it. age. Uh, we'll fix it after two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Not you LP. And we have not been served with a copy of the LPA, even though it was filed mm. last year. No LPA. It's just been filed, an order mm. taken, and then ex party order. And then... This is an application fixing the date of hearing of the letters patent appeal at 58 of 2022. Anybody from Mr. Hawa's office is present today? There are a couple of his applications today. We are. Uh, we do... Maybe somebody because. Noticing the fact that the challenge is made to the 
special civil application of the year 2020 and the proceedings being of the year 2016. The arbitration proceedings are IAP number is 2016, right? 16, 2016, Roma. The request for early hearing is exceeded to let the matters be posted for the hearing. 14th of uh, we want 14th of March. March, please. All right, 14th of March. Membership, if, may, if a copy may be served on us, we are not being served with the LPA. Uh, according to the learned uh, advocate, uh, Mr. Parik uh, appears. Mr. Parik, you would receive the copy because counsel comes from outside. No, you would be. You would be receive. You will be receiving the copy. Yes. Let the copy be served, and Mr. H. N. Parik, within one week. May I just yes, one, sir, one sir. indulgence, Malishi, in case the matter is not heard on that day. This order, which is at Exhibit B, Malishi, will see Annex B. Mm -hmm. All it said was that the civil application has let, been... Let that be before the... If it, Malishi, since it's on going in the 14th, we, we, today Mr. Hawaii is not there. Malishi. It's an innocuous order, therefore we're passing it. Because Malishi. since when we understand that from 2016, if you... you wait, in fact, my leadership... In no, but then at the same time, if any grievance still remains, up, on 14th, you can uh, we'll, ventilate it. In fact, my, whatever my leadership's uh, recorded in the judgment, Exactly, that was just two months later, the said section was struck down, saying that it would cause absolute chaos in the arbitration. Great for me. Number five, Mr. Maulik Soni. What is wrong? What is difficult? The authority have not, is not. They they have not supplied single document. Why they are evicted us? They are coming. They they uh, prevented the poor person to uh, cultivating the salt dollars. Even my Lord may see page fifteen, annexary of main SC. The seven into twelve is in our favor. Their name is there. Even my Lord may see page nineteen. The state government has also. Read the impugn order. Uh, my Lord, may say AI. Because they, it is unclear because they, they have not provided any document to you. Sir, only misconceived. Misconceived, unclear. unclear, drafted without a correction language. The pleadings indicate the only under understable feeder is that the petition will dispute a question of law. There is no dispute a question of law. We are the uh, holding the possession. Our name is there in the uh, 7 into 12 abstract. Even the government has also. Uh, uh, permitted to do this activity. At least before preventing us to do this, at least they issue a notice. They also discuss why we are preventing. The response author is not uh, given any single document. Our concern is only this, only this season, at least they may permit it to otherwise all uh, their uh, hard work will be gone into win your lordship. They will lose huge loss your lordship. And they are poor person. They, we are not holding any factory. They are the poor person. They are the doing. Mr. Sony, 
been some such petitions where you espousing the cause of some people who are of marginalized class. Should there be not more care about the drafting, etc.? Rossi, what happened? I understand this is my fault, but what, what happened, Rossi? You've never seen she any was... matter being dismissed by the court in five lines. Oh, 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 only difficulty what happened on a Monday, oh, they, they evicted uh, on a Friday uh, evening. They also visited the office. There is a Saturday Sunday. Not necessarily every pleading will have to be allowed. That, that time period is very short. It's not, a, lost. it's not a question of you know how elaborate you could be or whether, but whatever that is right, it has to be comprehensible. But they Lordship, my lord are absolutely right. But what is the difficulty, Lordship? They even could not understand anything. They, they also visited the office of collector. They have not provided any details. They did not understand, but we as somebody in the profession and in this, I will, we, I will definitely are, we, are we not supposed to be knowing as to what are the cause? I, I will I will definitely take care in the future, but Lordship, this is here. The only my answer is that for only in season, they may be permitted there are many many activity or Lordship. Only we for Crystal people. and it, uh, AGP to okay. look into the matter. I, I, Their plight we are also directing member secretary uh, legal service authority because nalsa's one of the schemes is to uh, go for the outreaching program for all these marginalized sections let the care be taken if they have a genuine difficulty at your end you may just see that and at the end of the legal service authority member secretary can also look into this i would also endeavor my lord if I'm please do to see as to who these people are my lord before now today how they are holding such lines, what process has been undertaken Correct. against them, Correct. I will make an attempt to do And if they would require uh, some uh, handholding, uh, we would be expecting the legal service authority to do that. But on your part, just do whatever the best you can I, do. I, 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 I would. Because of our limitations, their case should not be unnecessarily marked. The latest patent appeal 201 of 2023, while recognizing the anguish on the part of the learned single judge in dismissing this petition, we are looking at the cause which is far more vital, and therefore we deem it appropriate to issue the notice and also have requested the learned. AGP to look into this matter. We would want a copy of this order to go to the member secretary, Gujarat State Legal Service Authority, as one of the schemes of NALSA is for the marginalized section. Let notice hmm? in IA. In IA also, let the notice be issued to be made returnable next week. Let it be on the 3rd March. 2nd second, second March or 3rd March? Only if my learned uh, friend may satisfied, they, he may inquire. At least after inquiry, they, they, at least uh, for uh, for some days, till next day, for, they may... There is, a, there is an entire policy of the state government for allotment of soil cultivation. It, I would have to see, my lords, on what basis... Very true. You can just look into that. We will keep it on 2nd March. Very and by 2nd March, you can just see that what yes. best you can do about it. Only, only, only. I will endeavor to find a reply. He will endeavor to see that nothing happens to them right now. But at the same time, no no further no, no, order no, right no, now. No interim relief, but only my learned friend may verify. Consider That's what he is going to do, Mr. Sony. He, he knows he knows the... At least, at least they may uh, only permit us to eat lama. They, they have to be uh, do some activities called. Otherwise, in ten days, it will be uh, 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 become hard. And they lost. They, they may be satisfied. At least they may uh, do some activity till next day. Otherwise, all all sort will become hard. Here is a case when when probably a punishment would have to be carried out to decipher as to whether there is actually sort which has been no. cultivated. Look, all, all I mean, with uh, uh, in that IA where we have issued the notice, you can say that uh, we would. Uh, we would expect the learned uh, AGP to also, uh, in today's day, speak to the officer concerned at the local level. 
and ensure that no further damage is caused. I'm grateful to highly congratulate. Yes. Number six, Mr. S. P. Manister. Mr. Delay of 2018. Exactly. You have approved the course. No, kindly see this interim order that was passed during the petition pendency of the honorable court had left it open to the parties to approach the civil court because there is a claim against me with regard to the property in question. I'll just read this. It says uh, paragraph three by interim order, status quo or revenue record and title of the land in question shall be maintained. Pendency of this petition shall not preclude either side from approaching the civil court for establishing title over the land in question. If such civil suit is filed, civil court will be at liberty to take independent view of the matter without being influenced in any manner by observations made by the revenue authority. Now, during the pendency of the petition, a civil suit was filed, wherein initially the order came against me, but the appeal has been allowed. Kindly see page 53. And it has been held that the respondent here in the original petitioner has no right over the land in question. And this is page 53. This is the order of the civil court in first appeal. Where I am the plaintiff, the respondents here in are the defendants. Your lordships may kindly see the findings. You know, which start from page. Uh, kindly see page 88 paragraph 5. Because the original petitioner was relying on two documents. One was a partition deed and the other was a will. Based on these two documents, he was saying that his name should be mutated in the revenue records. My case is that both these documents are not true. And in any case, he was a not he was a non-agriculturist. But kindly see page 88, paragraph 55. It says, in view of above discussion, it clearly appears the trial court has committed error in relying upon Exhibit 66, which was initially marked as tentative exhibit, but later on without discussing that how much such document is admitted and put in evidence. Further, trial court has fallen into grave error by believing that this is Jason by derived title of agricultural land, survey number 588 and 608. These are the lands in question. Why are these documents read Exhibit 66? Such error become widened when learned trial court has believed that exhibit 66 is a family settlement deed or family arrangement. It is not required registration. In fact, as discussed earlier, the document produced at exhibit 66 is nothing sort of conveyance deed and it requires compulsory registration. The word family settlement deed has no casual relationship to exhibit 66 and more particularly looking to the content, nature and recital of the same document as well as absence of blood relationship in same way between plaintiff Jema Bhai and deceased Jisang Bhai. At this juncture, it is worth to refer to entry number 369 by which defendant as well as Jisang Bhai claim right and title into the suit property also shows that it has been mutated as these agricultural lands are given in lieu of consideration. So this entry is also referred in the civil. Aptly not to forget, plaintiff Jema Bhai and deceased Jisang Bhai are not family members which together claims right to succession in the suit property. They were not related with each other. Same way, there was no blood or half blood relation between them. In above view, from any corner, Exhibit 66 cannot be said to be family settlement or deed of family arrangement. It cannot be relied upon as it is insufficient. In, in any case, this appeal, which has been decided way back in 2016, yes. it was placed before the court consent. It is right? placed by an affidavit. Most kindly see mm -hmm. that affidavit starts at page 15. Against this, a second appeal is filed, but still delay is not condoned. The other side has filed second appeal. It is lying at the stage of condonation of delay. Uh, this affidavit was and at this, page, this concerns the very land. Very land, very document based on which entry is made. Now, civil court has held that he is not the owner. Let us patent appeal 203 of 2023 in special CA 2398 of 2006. Agreed by the judgment and order. 
dated 6 February 2023, passed by the learned single judge. In dismissing the petition, the present appeal is preferred, essentially on the ground that during the pendency of the petition, the court had predicted the petition of by its order dated 1st August 2006 and also had permitted both the sides to approach the civil court for establishing the title over the land in question where the civil court was required to independently decide the matter. Paragraph, we are given to understand that the appeal, the first appeal preferred uh, before the uh, that is before the learned principal district judge Parton Parton has by the, been by the appellant in RCS 65 of 2006 by the appellant on appeal was allowed. against against the judgment and decree passed in RCS 65 2006 on 23 11 2011 has been quashed and set aside and the suit of the claim a suit of the present appellant has been partly allowed. This said, come on 12th April 2016. We have heard the learned advocate, Mr. S.P. much more. Assisted by Mr. Arshad Sheikh, who has urged that it is always the civil court's decree which shall be regarded while mutating the entry in the revenue record notice returnable. Second. On uh, second week, 9th March. Please, madam. Uh, so, I would be requesting your lordship to grant stay of the order because the SS or the status quo which was prevailing during pendency of petition, status quo has got written. During the pendency of petition, any relative? Yes, this order says there was a status quo with regard to? During the special civil. Application. Yes, special civil application. It was in 2006. The Honorable Court had said by way of interim status quo qua revenue record court had uh, since directed the status quo qua the revenue record and the title of the land in question qua the revenue record the order of status quo to continue please it's our direct yes i leave Sorry, uh, we'll just quickly uh, take it to firstly, the uh, fixing of the map. You know. Fixing the early date of hearing? No, no, sir. So I'm taking interim relief. So here, why is it saying it's in? No, I'm taking interim relief. Sorry? I'm taking interim relief. The notary will be issued twice, I think, September 2022. But since the matter was not taken up for hearing, mm -hmm. it is a thought issue and the matter is otherwise required to be sent back your lordship. Any objection? No, mm -hmm. the prayer. Kindly refer to the prayer. Yes, but this is, we also thought this for fixing the date. No, the, kindly refer to the prayer, Lord So I have thought for interim relief also. Correct. But then uh, let this be uh, fixing of the date we uh, decided and uh, we post it on 27th or somewhere. Please, sir. Huh? But if they are in a hurry to uh, this, the petition has been preferred somewhere and the notice September. has been issued way back in September 2020. Mm. Look, if you, if you know everything, where is a requirement for any reply? So let it be. The, let it be argued before the bench concern and then let it be decided. Huh? My, my, I agree with what my lawyer thinks, but my assessment is because we've already received the intimation, your lordship, and they would start with the assessment proceeding. Mm -hmm. We'll keep it on 27, 28. It's in a civil application preferred by the applicant uh, petitioner seeking early date of hearing in relation to the assessment in the proceedings of for the assessment year 18, 19. The notice has been issued by this court on 16 September 22, Quorum Justice Anjaria and Justice Bhargav Karya, making it returnable on 4th October 22. There was no interim relief granted at the relevant point of time. The request is uh, to urgently hear the parties on the uh, interim relief. Not so, the order is 6th of September. 6th no? of September. 
Yes. On hearing the learned advocate, Ms. Parikh, as well as the learned senior standing counsel, Mr. Varun Patel, representing the department. The application is allowed. Let the matter be fixed on 28th of uh, February for the parties to argue the matter on interim relief. This post of civil application is dispersed. For restoration. Why was it uh, dismissed? We yes. couldn't uh, remove the office objection in time. The petitioners, some of them are residing out of uh, the country. Uh, they've moved for, through the power of attorney. They filed this this court had granted eight weeks' time to do the needful for removal of office objections. While it's order dated 17 11 22, Scorum Justice Sarvin Kumar and Justice Ashutu, as his Lordship then was, and Justice Asit Shastri. And, For want of removal, uh, petition had been dismissed. It's an application for seeking the restoration of the same on the grounds mentioned in the application. Will be appearing for the state. AGB would appear. Please, this is our nobody's and AGB waves. Considering the reasons, uh, matter is restored. Let the office of elections be removed in a week's time. It can it be two weeks? Two weeks. And Still, you need further time. There are others uh, uh, residing oh. out of country, Miss. Oh. We need to call sure. them. If not, then without further reference, this will be dismissed. Please, Please. great. So, we will show you this. It's a 9, 10, 11, 12. We are all issuing the notice. And also, 28th. 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 Hello, other letter daily board sit number 34, 35, 37, and 38. Okay, you can give them give them number. Notice. You can see the petitioner is before this court seeking the reliefs. There are 12. Notice returnable. You keep it after three weeks yeah. or four weeks. Um, so it'll be made returnable on 21st, 21st of March, all better. Okay. 10, 11, 12, and 19. 19 in the daily board. In the daily 30, board. 34, 35, 37, and 38. 37 and 38. All right. Every okay. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, Mr. Darshan Patel, this is a 2013-14 matter. We are we are allowing and disposing of 13, 14, 14, 15 years and 21. Yes. Yeah, Device 17, 18. 17, 18. I have carried out a draft amendment. Inadvertently, the annex that one annex with the show cause notice was skipped down. The elite dash draft amendment is permitted to carry it out both way. Challenges to the notice issued under section 148 essentially on the ground that income escaped assessment is less than 50 lakhs. Please. Help. The reopening beyond a period of three years from the end of relevant assessment years is also another challenge with the following prayers. Notice. What are the reasons for this? Sorry, ma'am. Yes, sir. When is the assessment getting time barred? This is 17, 18, so... So it will take a while? No, because on June, the portal... June they 2000. Are, on the portal, they are uh, showing 31st of March. 31st of March? On portal, they mm -hmm. show and 
in there is a general instruction which is not to uh, pass the final assessment order without prior permission of the court. <clears throat> we'll make it returnable on uh, 14th of March. <laughs> Now, one thirty. Got a received a copy. Any report you have? My mother was just keeping closure with us. We take primary instructions as to what is. So, my mother, here is a case wherein there is also a statement that initially the state land was already allotted by the authorities for the purpose of skinning the carcass. It is also stated by them that subsequent data is not never reviewed. I will speak instruction. There is a report from the collector, page 25. The collector has given such a finding. There is no such time I'm extending. Can you see the page 25 last time? So there is no such action by the collector from 91. Mr. Parekh, I have an appropriate copy of photographs. See your photographs. Today, and this, this uh, 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 collector is, uh, is Report is of 2018. No, they have to have made a representation to the Otsaro authority. Even today, Roshi photo of very same place is going on. And I told you the original. There are no original. Where are the original photographs to the today? To the coast. 238. Today's date also. First, let him file the appropriate photographs. We'll just see about it. This is different than the other matters of. Animals not These are already dead animals. Very, very true. Game, very true. Let him just show that so that we can come very to the yes, gotcha. Yes, Why the court was a little you know, the concerned was that this while the petition was pending before this court, that about two thousand square meters of land had been taken and according to us used for a road from two thousand seventeen. Decision was taken by the corporation to return the land. And uh, the alternative of compensation was found to be too expensive. That we challenged before this court, that this strip of land, returning it back after it has been used as a road would be Ill illegal. At various stages, Maharaj, oral directions were given for filing an affidavit, whether there is a road line or it is a road or what is the exact position, because we said it is part of the road. The respondent said that most of it is not part of the road. Uh, apart from the merits, that day before the hearing, if you will see 136 uh, of the petition, This may have 136 of the petition. This was the position. When we filed the petition where we said that the decision to return road land is very irrational because what will I do with the strip apart from the illegality? Page 136. The glass building is where the construction is put up. The road and some part on, of parking etc. is the land which was taken by the corporation from 2017. We said that returning this land in front of this doesn't really, it's not a valid decision. The day before the hearing, your archives have a small compilation of 3rd February separately given. Hmm. Finally, see, for instance, page 12, while keeping 136. The photographs might not be still quite Is there? 
It is. Yes, can you see page 12? Just can you compare page 12? The day before the hearing, the entire road in front of this structure is dug up to implement the decision of returning this land, which is under question before this court. Public road, card used from 17, completely dug up, 12 and 13. To make it almost irreversible for adjudication of the petition, which is why the court requested my friend that this must be explained. What was the hurry? This decision of returning the land being irrational and invalid was exactly in challenge. Why do you dig up a public road at whose expense? That is the only thing. As far as the presence is concerned, merit sector was anybody must Affidavit is filed with of the commissioner, which says that we did it as per the decision. There was no intention. But that is implementing a decision which is pending consideration. And it had awaited. The notice was issued in July 22. Which is why the order was The order was passed on 3rd February. What you said, 3rd February order. Last four lines of page two <coughs> of the order, if your lordships have that this needs to be deprecated. Why was this, this done without leave of the court? Why was this done when it was pending consideration? Where is the uh, commission, commissioner's uh, affidavit? Yes, it has been filed. It was filed on the same day, day before yesterday. That's on page 149. 149? Yes. Why is it not there? These are e-files on the portal on uh, the day of hearing. In the of course the hearing, because you were to read little that we have mentioned that the link that we will be serving a copy, a copy was served to them and it has been filed as well in this.
there is no quarrel as regards the fact that a certain stretch of pavement or the card portion has been cleared the reason is not to overreach the process of law the reason is not even to frustrate these proceedings as we understand these proceedings are that our land has been utilized kindly compensate it has got nothing to do with the road as such they say that the land has been utilized for the purposes of a public road but their grievance is not that the road should remain or should not remain their grievance is that we should be compensated and as in the earlier round of litigation bills it was submitted and it has been recorded in the order which your lordships would find at page 152 which i have extracted the corporation was given two options in fact it was submitted by on uh, on behalf of the corporation that it would either return the land or in the alternative it would acquire the land in case if it is feasible for the corporation to do so commercially plus at the end of it the proposal was submitted by the municipal commissioner to the standing committee the standing committee passed a resolution saying that because of the financial uh, involvement this it would not be possible to acquire the land under the circumstances the land may be returned the same was confirmed by the general body now one question that would immediately fall is whether the returning of the land would mean that the road will not be there the answer to that would be in greatest of respect less no the road will remain and in fact it remains there today plus the road is 18 meters the road is 18 meters only at a certain point so right in front of this particular plot it becomes 30 meters so the 18 meter road which was otherwise available on both ends continues to remain and even in front of this the road is still there it is not as if there is complete obstruction it is not as if there is complete closure. all right so we just need to we will hear the other side on this after the recess but you need to just tell us as to why have you done it during the pendency of this. That that part we will need to actually have it. That's the only. In fact, they've stated so your officer was not aware that uh, there is a pending petition. With greatest of respect, even on an earlier occasion, and that is something that has been captured in the affidavit. It was it had fallen from the honourable bench that it would be always open for the petitioner to take back the land. The petitioner has in fact written letters to us wherein he has said that we have done we have we have their contention was that it cannot be returned to us with a tarmac. The reason being that in case if we were to have a tarmac, people, general public will confuse that this is an ongoing road and therefore we continue to ply on. If we were to barricade it, which was an option available to us, so as to ensure that there is nobody going in, plus it would have only resulted in the uh, in the in so according to according to you though it was pending there was nothing which prevented you from doing I, or returning this the muscle flexing in the affidavit that is what is stated the proceedings because there is no question okay. the stating the, Fine. the proceedings will continue to remain because whether your lordships direct us to acquire compulsorily or not is something that your lordships can always do and it's pending that you and was it completely destroyed the our access? I have been deprived of my land. Please return my land. In fact, the prayer was to restore the possession. It's just right now. Uh, so it's, it is one up. Maybe it may not have been the best. It may not have been the most appropriate. It may not have been morally correct. But I would respectfully submit, Malis, it was not an illegal decision. It was not a malicious decision. It was not something that was done to either overreach the process of law or to defeat the resolutions passed by the corporation. In fact, the action was completely in consonance with the resolution of the corporation. It's, Maybe the timing may have been slightly off. It could have been done in a better way. All, right. all of those things. If this is what you need, case. if exactly. this is what you need to say, we'll accordingly take it. Yes, because sir. if you feel that it is something which, pending the decision, it was more important for you to implement the corporation's decision and disregard the court's order. If this is what is the tenor that is culling out from your affidavit, we'll take note of that. Because if you feel that this is not, and the reason why you know that why it has been. trying to justify it beyond the point. This is what is, sorry, Willis, can you address? Yes, after the recess, okay. we'll hear. Sir, if I come one where Mr. Dick passed on that noting on the website on the new open yes it is for interim relief but if you want to address you can address this because we are we're taking it it was uh, by virtue of our query that they have responded and they've produced this in court sure.
sorry, we're late for some personal reasons. Yes. We can uh, continue with what we had. We are aware of uh, some urgency well, I'm, from some... I'm told a few mentors Correct. I'm 25. Yes. May I give, uh, may I give my number? Instead of wasting the time in... Uh, uh, so, so you... All can be on 27th. Hmm? So type copy can be dispensed with. So uh, for all matters, 14, 13, 14 could be either on Monday or on Tuesday. Know, there is a serial number 47. You know, it could be sent back because of the notice by the previous coach is specifically for that reason that it can be sent back to the officer at the B stage, 147 B stage. The notice also is given on that lines. So could it be... Who is appearing Mr. for Varun this? Patel. I've had a talk with you. All right. Tell uh, somebody to remain either from your office or Mr. Patel's office to be here. I hmm? All right. Man, sorry, we are pronouncing. We are pronouncing it. Hmm? All right. Please wait. Serial number 35 in daily board. Some urgency. May I give you a number to please skip the court messages? Or my lord, I'll mention tomorrow morning if my lord has uh you can just give a well, priority, whatever. There are a couple of matters where we started. We'll just need to finish it off. I'll mention tomorrow morning. Sir, listen. 1314, everything will go 27th. Hmm? Yes. Okay. Uh, the parted matter you can just take. Session. During the it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, I had a discussion with the officer. Both of us gather in the impression that your lordships perhaps are slightly perturbed by the fact that pending the petition, some acts were done. It's other than expressing the uh, sense of feeling that there was no intention of overreaching the process of law. Maybe it may not have been the wisest of the decision. Maybe we ought to have come to your lordships and say that since the grievance of the other side is to get back the possession of the land and in the alternative to get compensation if we were to uh, take a stand that we would want to continue using it, is we, as the municipal commissioner with its, the, and on his behalf, on which I say this, we are trying to resolve and we are open to resolving it. Any suggestion that falls from your lordship's minutes, we will consider it in the manner in which it deserves consideration. When it's made. Having said that, which we would like to reiterate that acquiring the entire land which may no longer be a feasible aspect because of the amount of money involved in it. There could be alternatives which can be explored. That is something that um, which he is willing to consider with. Subject, of course, to the approval by the uh, by the body because on his own he will only be able to uh, let's, uh, make a suggestion to the body. Eventually, it will be the decision of the municipal corporation because under the act he does not have a authority to unilaterally take a decision in respect of uh, matters which involve financial implications beyond a certain limit. <laughs> Uh, we will put into the state government also. We will elicit the views of the government as well. We remain conscious that your lordships have not been very happy with whatever has happened with us. We once again submit that it was not done with a view to either frustrate the proceedings before your appending uh, before your lordships or with a view to overreach the process of law or with a view to undermine the dignity of the court of the proceedings. I don't think that was the intention then, and I don't think it can ever be the intention of the statutory authority. But so far as the present incumbent is concerned, this he has only taken over charge a month or two months back. So this is something that is legacy. It's not as if he's come in and he's become overactive or something like this. So this with greatest of respect on his behalf, I submit that there is no ill intention on the part of the individual or collectively on the part of the municipal corporation. So, so this. Having said that, it's anything that falls from your logic, so it's, we are willing to consider it and whatever best we can do is to resolve the situation, ensuring that there is no financial burden on the corporation, also ensuring that the public is not inconvenienced in as much as the citizens of Baroda, as well as this general public, this has access to the road and availability of the road. We, the Lord Jesus will grant us some time which we will explore. We will come back to it. Do anything to say? On the apology, etc., because I'm not really on intention, etc., it is 
the honorable court had uh, said that this is no way a corporation can conduct itself the exact in this matter not from the, the the grievance is that from the beginning manoj the action of the corporation even by taking the land was steamrollering the wall and taking over the land then saying that no compensation because you have agreed to give up the land without compensation petition comes to be filed at which stage they say we will return the land though it is being used as a road from 2017 court does not observe anything we have not accepted it the corporation should take an appropriate decision appropriate decision is taken that in 22 that though it was a road now we decide to return you the road we challenged it that this is absolutely irrational because in a strip of land where construction has come up by returning it what happens you are completely uh, rendering the whole thing infructuous because 2000 a strip of land just in front of our building cannot be utilized at all so that is challenge pending that challenge the uh, action i am not on the intention the action of the corporation that day before the hearing renders the second amendment because they say we have taken a decision to return the road so we have dug up the entire road in front of your complex i would say this is not uh, fair that just in front of our land when the petition is filed that your decision to return the land is absolutely irrational you create a situation which is a fait accompli you have dug up the land at whose cost the road was laid at whose cost and it is entirely dug up so your lot chips have seen our our uh, building has little access you have to go through side roads or jump over the debris just in front of our which was admittedly used as a road twice there is no affidavit neither in the first nor in the second that this was part of the road not part of the road my friend is instructed to say you applied for land in absolute absence of affidavit my friend's instructions may be good my friend's instructions on contention may be valid not one line on affidavit our instructions are we have never asked for the land but how do i answer it there is my friend's statements which is instructed to make not one line in the affidavit there is no affidavit but the situation is apart from the intention which can be discerned from action is that pending a matter you dug up the entire road and said we have decided now you have to give the take the land so this is where now the real grievance is that this one is really overreaching and settlement of course one's resolution we have always said that uh, fair resolution is why would we block any resolution but they must also consider that a strip of land in front of our building can never be used so whichever alternative they are willing to but was to this and to this one was what today they have dug up the road with zero access how does that get reversed is we were in the process of removing the debris so that there is free access to everybody it is because of the order uh, status quo passed by this honorable court that we have not been able to so in fact there are things we have received representations from the shopkeepers also and we did inform them that on the next day we will we will address the honorable court of the difficulties that they are facing because what has now happened is that a lot of other people who are coming to the garden so if the lodges were to permit us this we may remove the debris so that it is cleared up So that there is no further nuisance that is created there, we will not do anything without asking your lordships. But at least your lordships may permit us to clear up the debris so that it becomes a flat, accessible to everyone. It, it is today also accessible. My submission is not necessarily fully accessible in the sense that a car may not necessarily be able to go there. A bike or a two wheeler or a, a person walking can easily go there. There is no problem with that. It is only hundred meters, which is in this. I am not trying to justify that. But if your lordships may permit us, we will remove the debris and see that it is flat, flat and not in the sense of a car may be laid there. But it flattened in the sense that it will be a flat surface, which can easily be used either by way of uh, foot or by way of vehicle. That is one solution. Secondly, list though it has not fallen list, assuming for a moment that the road is to be considered as an 18 meter road, and the permission that was obtained by them was on the basis that the width of the road is 30 meters, merely because the corporation eventually resolves to keep it as an 18 meter road list, we are sure that we will not be. Issuing any notices to them that the construction that was put up on the basis of a permission validly given by us at the relevant point of time, because of supervening circumstances or in the subsequent change list, is rendered illegal, unauthorized, or irregular. That, that is absolute that deflection. Is. Section thirty-three bars them from doing it. I the see. point is, we are not on merits. The point is, pending the matter, you change the position. My respectful submission is, please restore it. and then argue on merits. You can't put a citizen to the sword like this that you are arguing that you cannot. Give back the road. You dig it up and say now that is that. Well, my request is restore. Is the question if your lordship were, if we were to on our own were to restore it, it will become a road. It will be a road which will be partly consuming the land belonging to them. Yeah. 
plus a grievance says that we have not lawfully acquired the land. So plus today, if we are asked to once again put the road on their land, it would mean that we are once again occupying their land and we are occupying that land without us having any intention to acquire it, at least for the present, the risk itself time resolution is worked out. So let's what we can do is instead of the target, we can clear it up. This my uh, officer. Anyway, let him sit. He doesn't need to stand. Let him sit. Let him sit. We have understood uh, what you intend to do and what is being proposed by the other side or what is being uh, the grievance on the part of the other side. Just give us a minute and uh, we'll decide as to what we should say. Sorry? There is no confrontation left. What we propose to both the sides, one, status quo ante. Status quo ante, that will need to be done immediately, one. Two, as the other side is also wanting to ask for the compensation. They're asking for the land. We do not know whether that is feasible. No, that is not. It is not asked. My All right, fine. If you're not asking and if it is a compensation, that's an issue. If your client is agreeable, let let both of both the sides sit together and work out. I agree, man. Compensation, alternative right? because this is road from 2017. Fine, work it out. If it doesn't work out, right. we keep the matter after two weeks. Gotcha. Come back to the court. We'll work out. And one small request: a direction to the corporation to file a reply on whatever they are stating orally, because it is my friend is instructed one way, but must, when we contest it, it is not on record. My friend in all sincerity states that you asked for land, etc. Whatever it is, he may be right, he may be wrong, but not one reply coming on record. All right. How much time? Are intending to have us have the whatever it was whatever it was like yes it will not happen immediately what we can do immediately in the next two or two or three days we will start removing all the tables flattening the room so therefore it will be a flat surface so when it comes to making we consume about a couple of weeks it will so you can have to clear the deputies and then I will have to uh, give the contact. I can give the contact by passing everything. You can you can ask time. you can ask the officer, let him say as to what time. Just give us the specific time. It's one month. That's the reason I say this. It will not happen. Mm. So the removal of debris will be in three days' time. It'll be in three days' time. Yes. And uh, then flattening of the you know, just can say another two days there are and it will be flat. <laughs> And that can be done right away because it is within my uh, control. Because I just need to get the dumpers and we, uh, clear the debris. That can be done right away. In so far as the aim of the tarmac is concerned, because it will consume time. Because it will have to be first. And what are the difficulties the shop owners have uh, expressed to the uh, commissioner? Please see, shop owners 
three things. One, at the time when they were sold the property by the developer, the developer being the person who's been going about this, they were told that it is going to be a 30 meter road or whatever it is, or that they will have access to the road. Now, it's with the fact that the land which is going to be returned, assuming for a moment that it is returned, what they will have with is that this is the land, or this is the building, which, and beyond the building, they will have about 300 or 400. Uh, uh, Feet lips, sorry, about 20 feet lips of land, which will be a clear land, and then there will be a road. So, their belief is one apprehension, their apprehension is that means there will be parking, so therefore, there will be an excessive uh, uh, problem of uh, accessing it. Second, so these are shops, some of them are selling food items, some of them are selling generator sets, and stuff like Unless anybody who's wanting to come as a consumer or a customer for that this may not necessarily find the, the sufficient parking since it is going to be a public park. So it is essentially something to do with access. That's all. Second, because they, their complaint is today that because of the status quo order that has uh, been passed by your watches, the area which is getting dirty in as in as much as somebody or the other is dropping things. And because of the status quo order, since your watches and everything the line of we are unable to do anything. Once that is clarified, now that has been clarified, because that part will be over. So once we flatten the road, irrespective of whether we lay the tarmac or not, this their grievances by and large will stand settled because they will have easy access to both the road as well as the customers coming to their shops. So that is one part. So this, uh, in so far as tarmac is concerned, this it will consume time. All right, you said three weeks. Four weeks it's on the because one week will get consumed in clearing up. There are things we'll have to uh, award the contract, which we will do simultaneously and then have the work being performed. Mm -hmm. So there is this we have to say the minute we were to once again lay the car, we actually are ending up occupying the land or a portion of it. It's, there's a serious dispute as regards the extent of the land. I'm not even getting into the numbers, but I'm candidly saying that we will actually be occupying a portion of the land belonging to the private. That is why we are seeking compensation. You've been doing that since 2017. So essentially, what we just restore it. That by virtue of your lordship's order, because we will be laying the road. And in fact, no, not by no, virtue of our order. Status quo ente is on account of the fact yes, that yes. that was your doing. It's not this it's court had directed. By action to the honorable court. Minister. All right, because fine. No, so now, right now, what you're going to do, just finish it because right now, this is something the earlier bench has ordered and they felt that this was something in contempt. The court had felt that this is something which requires some kind of an explaining. So since you're saying that we want to do it, I mean, fine. We're not wanting to take it any further. Let both of both the sides sit together, work it out. It's not a Lord. word saying it will be done. All right. Fine by us. Restore status quo ante and we'll sit. Would you not exempt us on the three days later? Two weeks more. Okay. Do you not know, see the examples of the car making part at least? Because still the parties are talking. Yeah. Oh, finish it off. off. This court on 3rd February 2023, Quorum Justice Sarvin Kumar, his Lordship then was, and Justice Ashutosh Shastri. On noticing the photographs produced by the petitioner, and on hearing both the sides, sorry. Look, your uh, officer is present. He had been asked, he was called upon to appear in person. 
because the court felt that this was something not a palatable uh, action. So therefore, uh, he was asked. So now something we need to do about it because his presence, we are not wanting that he needs to remain present on every occasion. Let there be some solution of this matter and therefore we need to give some breakup. Yes, certainly. Yes, certainly. This court passed the order seeking the presence of the commissioner in person. F would be to reproduce the order. Can you reproduce the same? The affidavit of Municipal Commissioner of the Respondent Vadodara Municipal Corporation in compliance of the order dated 3rd February 2023 has come on record. Is also personally remained present before this court. It is reiteratively emphasized that there was no intention on the part of the corporation to overreach the process of law, nor was any intention to defeat or frustrate the pending proceedings. On the earlier date of hearing, since it was orally observed that the petitioner should occupy the land. It was submitted on the part of the corporation that it has demarcated the area of land and has no objection to the petitioner taking back the possession of the land. The decision on the part of the corporation, not the decision, but the action on the part of the corporation in the, the public road and opening a portion of the land which was claimed by the petitioner to be unauthorizedly utilized by the corporation is said to be not reckless or careless, but has been taken in consonance with the decision of the Standing Committee and the General Board of Corporation. It is also to say that such action has not resulted in total closure of the public road, nor has it rend rendered the stretch of the road inaccessible for use by the public. The payment is still open and accessible for the use for the general public. The affidavit in rejoinder gives the details. However, the same is not. This is you, the affidavit in rejoinder is subsequent to this? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Is filed. Contending that uh, this is a this stand of the corporation is misleading as the matter is pending since April 2022. It has chosen not to file any affidavit opposing the content of the petition. And a day before the hearing, the road was dug up and destroyed, which was in existence since the year 2017. This, according to the petitioner, was constructed out of the public fund on a portion of the land belonging to the petition, utilized without payment of any compensation. It is reiteratively urged that this is to change the equities before the hearing of the subject matter on 3rd February, paragraph. We have heard the learned mm 
Advocate Mr. Nanavati, appearing for the Municipal Corporation. The presence of uh, the Municipal Commissioner, who is uh, who has also remained personally present, and. It is ensured to this court that status quo ante shall be restored. We've heard the learned uh, senior advocate, Mr. Mir Joshi, assisted by learned advocate, Mr. Abhishek Mehta. The details of the submissions may not be required to be gone into at this stage. As on instructions, the learned advocate, Mr. Nanamati, has ensured for the status quo enter to be restored. He is also proposed for the parties to. He, he has proposed that. The debris will require to be removed in about three days' time, which will enable the people to have an access to this road. However, for the car road to be completed, three it will take about days, yes. Days okay, the two days thereafter, the roads will be the road will be flattened, and it will take about. Four weeks. Four weeks for the road to be in its original form. It takes about four weeks to complete this. Seems a little higher. So I'm saying it on the. It will be lesser than that. It also can be assured because we don't want another situation where we miss some statement and they're found. We find many a times the roads are being laid overnight. And it's yeah. Those are potholes. <laughs> no, no. So, let that task be expedited. In the meantime, the parties also have agreed to. Okay. All right. After five days, once the debris are removed and the road is flattened, let a joint meeting also be convened for the purpose of working out the compensation which is being sought. This task shall need to be <coughs> undertaken. jointly by the parties in a right spirit. The detail of which can be worked out. You want, uh, would the parties require presence of any mediator? No, first, let them have or uh, they can have just, they can sit across and then we, we can have the first on. Within some time. If there is a need for any mediator to be there, we can appoint somebody. But otherwise, if they can on their own, uh, can sit, it will be. On our own, we'll try. It's a place of all. This, uh, for, for this purpose, let the meeting be fixed on 1st of March at the commissioner's office, at the office of the municipal commission, Vadodara. Communication for the time shall be sent from his office to the other side. Uh, attempt shall be made on the part of the parties to work it out. Sorry. It could be in any form of this. All right. 
amicable resolution we can say and we'll say the two o'clock let the time is so that you may not have to even communicate as so it's two o'clock who are who are us it's all right firstly you can have the meeting thereafter if you want to have a joint meeting I with mean, others no, also the land is of the ownership of the petition correct the but then if there is you're right for the purpose of compensation maybe you know they the presence may not be necessary right. but for working out any other things if the if the commissioner feels that there will be requirement of uh, the when others let him there was nothing when they uh, uprooted everything there was nothing it has resulted in more problems for the shop owners to have somebody who is not concerned with the compensation issue we are saying the road must remain no, for compensation we are not saying but for the roads once they are made it's half made if there is a need, they can independently can uh, have they it. They can independently. Yes, our meeting, one of they are not at all. Uh, I, I, we are but, uh, why, apprehensive about why the scope is sought to be widened. Then it is between the petitioner and the corporate. But if it, if it, if at all it, there is an inclusion once your meeting gets over on first. My friend, indicate on what? If we are saying the road must be there and we must be awarded alternative land or compensation, <laughs> how does that prejudice the shop owner? He says, yes, wonderful. The road must be there. So, what? Why is this being lit, expanded a step at a time? Oh, what are you, what are your apprehensions? We do not know. Man. We, some letters are written to us. Nothing is on record. Somebody phoned us and said lot of difficulty. That is exactly what we are saying. We do the road. So, how is somebody who owns a shop concerned in whether alternative land should be allotted or compensation should be given? If road has to remain, yes, Mr. Nanavati would like to say anything. The only reason to this today, if at all anybody is inconvenienced, it is the occupier of the that premises. You are active, the owner of the premises. The owner of the premises, uh, owner of the land has already. Anyway, right land. now, since it's not that we are disposing of this, it, one. The reason why I say yes. this is that have indicated compensation, and I requested a process in the process that patients have to pay to any given business. In, this, in case if there is an amicable resolution, it could be of any nature. This could be in the sense of compensation, monetary, it could be in the sense of alternative plan, it could be in the sense of any other thing. So that is something that is mutually discussed and worked out by the community parties. Because if the other stakeholders who are eventually going to be affected by it, if they are there, it is not as if they are going to be driving, it is essentially going to be between us. But if they are there, this, in case if there is any practical problem that they have to show for the situation there. Anyway, right, right now, right now, if no, nobody has approached this court, right? Exactly. As I said, they have approached. They have. By way of written communication. By way of? By way of? Written letter. That you have approved the system. I live in this. I'm not even insisting. Just two requests. And uh, otherwise, I mean, as citizens, if someone comes, it's, of course, the obligation of the commissioner to listen to them. Yes, so that part, you can do it. Even we don't need to tell you as to what he needs to do. I mean, he knows it as an okay. officer. Just two small requests. One is four weeks at the outside. So yes, they're, yes. They're that is what we have outside. seen. And my request is kindly delaying the meeting from their steps because they will say the meeting is going on, so we did not do the tar work. The Lord Jesus said, we have had, we are apprehensive for reasons which you know. Your Lordships have said that level, uh, debris should be removed in two days and three days it should be leveled and thereafter the meeting to be held. So that may be dealing, that steps may go on. And within this time, we will have a meeting. Correct. Otherwise, we are apprehensive. They will link it to say that now we are considering returning of the land. So, what is the need to tar it, etc. No, no, no. So, therefore, no. kindly dealing the that meeting. is that voluntarily has come that they are going to do. I, no, no. I, I status quo and just that is the it is not my friend. But your lordships mm -hmm. have said it's not negotiable. Correct. So that two three days, your lordships are only dealing. Your lordships have observed that the meeting will be after it is two days and three days are over. So that your lordships may only. No, why we have said is that at least because that is something we just want to ensure not. that it does people are not put to inconvenience. Not. So let that at least happen. No, that is also independently directed. That means six now fifty. By that time, that because that your lordships are independently directing for the meeting, and this is also independent, so it may not be linked up at their end. Lordship. You may just have a look at the final month we, in light. There is no linking, but if there is any, we'll just look into Lord that. Should, and as your Lord listen, and, and we'll say, yes. There will be no requirement for the municipal commissioner to appear before this court on the next date of hearing, which shall be.
So not just like not record uh, the uh, this week ninth. We'll keep this matter fifteenth of March. Fifteenth of March. Yes, I may be exempted from filing a deadline of merits since we are talking. I don't want rigid lines to be drawn just by the attorney. Because when I file an affidavit, it will be an affidavit falling on behalf of the university. Uh, that's, so that's all right. Now. It that's has it. let it be filed now. because so on the, on the first has... first March you're meeting. Yes, that yes. after we keeping on the 15th March, yes. by then you would know as to whether it's going to work out or not. Correct. If it does not work out and you need to actually contest, yes. we'll need to file it. That's right. It's fine. Because I don't want a situation where a corporation is taken. We understand. We do understand. But at the same time, in a, in, no, no. if not in the first meeting, by second meeting, you'll be clear about yes. it. And, and uh, uh, last one, I uh, hope that it is resolved before the next date. Just to launch. Uh, what is the last that you see? It is expected that the parties will attempt to resolve this amicably. After once the meetings are over and if there requires any contest, let the reply be filed on or before the next date of hearing. Uh, Without noting was, down that, no, I'm, I'm only no, I was only saying they, they may resolve it before the next date. I was not much on the reply. Yes, that they may resolve it before. All right, lordship. All right, this is you know it is it is both of you are wanting this. Let it be open. Yes, We're yes. not wanting to say anything further. Hmm? Can we can we just do the pronouncement first? Number one in daily board, Mr. Rashadrai Rai, Mr. Nikun Travel. Special civil application 7165 of 2021 in Allied Matters. <clears throat> Thus, the issue is covered as per the decision of this court as noted above in case of Mrs. SJS International. We allow all this petition accordingly. Washing and setting aside the impugno show cause notices issued by respondent authorities, which are admittedly beyond the period of three years. Since the impugno show cause notices are quashed by this court, the considered action of the, <coughs> the respondent authorities qua the show cause notices are also quashed. The rule is made absolutely. Anything remaining since Supplementary board, serial number 23, Mr. A.M. Parekh. 
This is given to a particular community and they've been living it like that? This very community, my lord, is since time involved in this profession. They skin dead animals, my lord, the purpose of leather. But then how would you leave this carcass here? I mean, are there not some regulations whereby they are supposed to be? The entire show of this petition to the concerned authorities, which I represent, my lord. Which is the authority which looks after and... It has a municipal corporation, yeah, right? The municipal corporation, my lord, in the GPMC Act will also be to be after this, my lord, as also the other authorities. So, if we can be in the next week, I'll gather all the instructions. And Did you see the them. photographs? They're shocking. Yes, they are. They are. Anybody who. Which is the area? Which is the. Which sector is it? Sector 30. People are not residing there. Person is coming to check. They are saying the corporation department, the military health department, the corporation. Now, how about all the people who are there? They are not taking any of this. Even the firefighter general also. This is within municipal limit. Yes, the municipal limit. Now, we press with the. In fact, my lord, in the year 2018, my lord, it is the next communication address by the collector directing the deputy executive engineer to do the needful. I'll take instruction as to what developed person they do. Take thirty-seven. I have to make a decision. The commissioner, the protectors, who doing recently take action. Of course, no, many of people don't accept it, but the dead means we don't consider because the definition of the dead has been notified to the corporation. But 263 say that the corporation has to decide the place. <coughs> I 
So what is page 21? Communication pertains to illegal cultivation. So that is that is what happened to me. I made the education that is illegal for just a doctor, certain person. That is, and they are along with these things. Now, after I made a medicine, only for the purpose of the cutting the animals. Who are you? Who are you? And the owners are joining the land. I am not concerned with this now. Because in the government land, but there is an encouragement. That is both illegal encouragement and cutting the animals in the very same. Encouragement men they have they have taken they have, they have, they have duty. But cutting the animals, they have residing, they have paid no debt. They have to why all representatives regarding these artists. And last thing that is page 37, where the uh the chief town government officers also say the, 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 the seven days notice has been given, otherwise take a legal action. Can't do there no action at all. Any complaint uh, made to the police? They have not. The Khadiyar Pali regional say that in seven days it is not done. We take a police action. That is a notice. But the public nuisance, you know, at no point of time under 133 that any actions have been. Uh, but have you have you actually made any requests at any point of time? Assume the request, at least it takes 37 in the owner and next to The Khadiyar Pali regional has said that the authority. We remove the number of That is number fourteen. then of 2023 petitioner as a citizen of this country and as a resident of the area and is an agriculturist. Having the agricultural land and survey number 392. Has approached this court for stopping the illegal skinning and carcass disposal at Pethapur, Taluka and District Gandhinagar. By preferring this petition under Article 226. The Constitution of India. So, Pera, he has his uh, ancestral property and agricultural rent within the revenue limit of Pethapur, Taluka, and District Gandhinagar. According to him, The 
inaction on the part of the respond authority is causing the health hazards for the residents of the area it is also causing serious harm to the environment as well from the year 2018 according to him he has been approaching collector gandhinagar and this had continued for all these years however no he has paid to any of the representations and therefore he is before this court with the following prayers per at 12 you heard the learned advocate mr m parik is also produced before us the photographs depicting the condition of dead animals which according to him is for 5 years the subject matter of concern for all around or stopping the illegal skinning and carcass disposal it is strenuously urged that some guidelines would be needed presently what is noticed is there is serious flouting of the provision of the prevention and control of infectious contagious diseases in animal act 2009 paragraph notice urgent notice written a balloon make it written a balloon the first march second second march learn it agp on an advance copy has ensured that he shall be ready with the report of the collector gandhi nagar we also notice that section 133 of the code of criminal procedure provides a procedure to be used in cases for removal of public nuisances it provides that whenever district magistrate or a subdivision magistrate or any other executive magistrate specially empowered in this behalf by the state government receives a report of the police officer or other information or on other informations and on taking the evidence things and considers that there will be a requirement for any unlawful obstructions or nuisance to be removed from any public place we may make a condition order requiring the person causing the obstructions or nuisance or carrying on such trade or occupation to prevent and stop 
and remove such obstructions and nuisances. Let on the returnable date, the district magistrate or the subdivision magistrate or the executive magistrate, as the case may be, report to this court as to what steps have been taken in wake of the repeated applications moved by the petitioners seeking to remove the nuisance in all these years. Is issuing the notice because they're the corporation also. Yeah, the district collector is also one of them. Yes. He, he acts as a district magistrate. So therefore, one is the uh, number two is the collector the himself. Collector. He will have an executive engineer, of course, is there, but then collector would act, collector act, would act as a section. He would be the right person. Uh -huh. Number one, two. You will be waving for whom? Number four only? Uh, my Lord, so for, for two? For two and four, both? In a minute. Two, two, four, and five. Two, four, five. In fact, even three, my Lord, should be. Two to five. Who are six to eleven? They are the persons who have been given this. Those people who of the community who are carrying on this uh, trade. How do you know that they are the persons? No, no, it's not a question, but right now. No. So number one, you will not be waiting. So he will. Uh, Notice number one and six to eleven. You wanting to take direct service? Or? The corporation will also have to have something to say that during the so number one, it's, it's already served. In any case, twenty four, Mr. Rajesh. Hmm. Private company construction carry out the near my lot of government of secondary high school and the resident area models for the purpose of the build mill models. And kindly turn to page number 61 and the principal of the government high school. To later to district education officer Malors and 19 January 2023 Malors task English translation next page number 16 public one Malors petition is uh, an advocate advocate and uh, at the same village Malors so Mathavada is village Malors and other other is Malors agriculture is construction Malors advocate and notary Malors but village is Mathavada native is Mathavada what are your prayers? Uh, main, the, mm -hmm. Page number 61 is public one, Malos. May read this later, Malos. The there is an allotment of the land which, according to, is the Goucher land. Goucher, but, uh, Goucher land and other Malos, the, the nearby the resident area and government high school near. Therefore, the this unit is very difficult. Construction started before last month, Malata. Private uh, company is Malata. The letter is also Malata. Can, can I do this? 16 oblique 1 Malata letter. Sorry? 16 oblique 1 letter is uh, dated in 19. Then can I read this letter? Is all. Which page are you seeing? Uh, Malata, page number 61, Malata. 61. 61. Annexed, Malata. Hmm. Next page is Malata. English translation 60 oblique 1. Malata. So, according to you, this was uh, this was meant for the high school. 
the construction of the uh, the tender also was given tender is also the entire process was over and then it has been given to the very difficult to last month is construction start with construction therefore this it is adjacent to the school building and resident area also mother village is so The school is operating. School is still to be constructed. Tender is issue, Malars. Correct. School land is allotted, and possession is also given to principal. This order is also annexed, Malar. But why do you say that Avajnu pollution is a Vidyarthi of Bhanaj? Malar, school is started after a few months, or school is land is open, Malar. But allotted is full page number malas order is malas. This is a wind farm project for my power. My Does it actually create any kind of noise? Noise pollution is very no, no. It would it create no, not only possibly at the time of installment. Wind wind but started its construction. Wind wind is not existent today. Malas started its construction carry out malas. Speaking for myself, I'm ignorant that the installation may create a noise, but not after once it is installed. Or does it? Still it does? In fact, for some picnic purpose, I had one once. No, no, and another thing, it's a, a alternative way of a power source that you're giving. Why is it he's saying that this is going to be some obstruction to the school? Maybe the installation uh, may create, but the school is not in that, presently there. That hindrance would be temporary in nature, Till the time it is school is still coming up. Why do you say that this is uh, causing? Near to the 1500, uh, 500 area, Malo. school, resident area. Malo, this, Malo, kindly, this later, I also, Malo, my representation is also. Malo. We got a copy of this. So we'll need your assistance. Malo. First, my lord, my lord, kindly turn to page number 54, my lord, a detailed representation to the authority, my lord, collector. And uh, 56, my lord, no. para 2, my lord. Possession is given on. Uh, Malar school school is possession is Malar given 2022 Malar. Uh, I also annex sir Malar jo. Circle office trapas dwara no thus bejar pandar na roj karwa maapeli. But Malar jo in. Mangni wale jamin sardni tapas. Ane. I is possession ki of last month Malar. Where is it situated? Where, which place is it situated? Baunagar, sir, district Baunagar. District Baunagar? Yes, ma'am. So the order is of the director Baunagar. And the industry. So, so page number 56. Is it a forest place. land or it's a forest land? Malo, CRJ area, Malo, near the voucher land, near the Malo, so land so village within the five million the, the petition, he says that. The government has reserved this land for some special purpose. What is that special purpose, my lord? He is himself has not disclosed. So, Mitani under Mota Mota started is immediately I represent this. Last month is started to work.
and one of later is a man of important school. This is village Mathavada Taluka Paraja. This is one of Near Look, Mr. Gidea, you may be concerned about the noise at the time of noise. installation. Right. That can never be the reason. Man. Any new construction that comes up or anything is being installed, the some noise would be there. Right now, you're not even operating. There is no school. No, but school is tender. Is and yours, school. all right. But man. then once it, it comes into the operation, possibly there is no likelihood of this too. What happen what? where is the question then what in, in what way uh, you please. can just tell us uh, about it what? if you have you taken any instructions that if you can just get tomorrow i will take it to take the instructions. Of the land. there doesn't appear to be any within, within resident area village village is a resident malo within 500 meter is malo the work is started if there are guidelines which say yes, that this cannot be permitted honorable coordinator bench is also malo within 500 meter Hmm. Mother, the unit is not mother existing. Mother, windmill is not mother. Sorry, within the uh, villager is resident. Mother, near the mother, the mother, can you turn to page number? Mother, internal page in judgment. Mother, of oh, para 29. Mother, para 29. Nine is mother. May hmm. can I read? No, therefore. Page 29. Page 29. 29. There is no area 29. Total, but which mm -hmm. is including the local uh, location 7 is 900 square meter. Land is also brought to our notice that the location 7 is distant about the 500 meter from the Gamtar and therefore this lot of the opposition of by the villager may be lead to low and under the situation. Direction is given by last uh, page number 30 is a para Malab, Direction is also given. Each unit to 500 meters from the Gamtal. Therefore, there's a lot of opposition which may lead to the law and order situation. And uh, all relevant responsive comments, the work of construction. Page, the, next is so location number seven is page 13. Malos. Direction is also given. Page 13. Roman V. Correct. The quote is saying location seven is concerned. We direct respond number four not to undertake work location seven. The state respondent direct to allot to any other land. Respond number four as much as nine hundred meter, which is not a part of the Gautar, which is also close to Gamtar. My prayer is also there, Gamtar and near the school model. Resident is also thus allotment shall be made within the period of Resident area is this is a completely different aspect, you know, it's not uh the famous pool and resident area mallow within three hundred meter mallow. All right. As for the issue of the nature of the land, the original federal allotment clearly specified that it is a Sarkari Hill land. Just to 2016. It, it specifies that the same survey number is given for the Sarkari Padda. Okay. This, uh, this will come tomorrow. We will hear you. Uh, we have already heard Mr. Gidea. We'll need some ins big instructions. Just provide a copy to him. Tomorrow. I I provide Malo some photographs so near the work is okay. Ah. Yes, good. Twenty five. Vaskar Karna Lamet near advocate with Mr. Paresh Darji. But a few dates are important. It will be over in few minutes. For this land was acquired for Western Railway Police and Malo some. Dates may be taken from which it will be clear. No, no, wait, just a moment. Is it for admission, Mr. Uh, no, Mara, it's for final disposal, court has said several times. Mara, I'll tell my lord, it does not require any argument. Can I take three minutes of time? And then 
Don't even look at the papers. You may take three but minutes, not, Mr. Tanna, with your Ekman, but then the other side may not I, be in a position. Yes, to this is not an issue about land acquisition. Mm. It is about giving me compensation and interest. Now, this court, speaking through two changes prior to my law, mm. have said certain things. Mm. Uh, I am required to be given the amount as mm. well as interest. Now, may I only give a few dates? It will not take more than five minutes, in all from my side. But mm. it's an acquisition of seven. Uh, section 4 notification on 17 October 2012. 12. Some dates are relevant and then I'll explain in brief what it is. No, please wait. We do not want a situation where we hear you fully and then we may not be in a position to then hear the other side also because if yes, they yes. take a longer time, we, we cannot. We can at the best. Uh, is there any resistance on the part of the other side to grant this? Uh, is there is, is being yes. seriously challenged in question? Uh, they have not challenged the acquisition, Mama. Yeah. There is no issue of challenging acquisition. It's mm. there mutated in their names, Mama. Mm. Today I am not being given principal amount, nor I am given interest for 10 years or 12 years. All right. You have not been given any amount? No. We are objecting to disclose that amount. Mama, how can it be objected? I, no, no. Let him say as to what, what is. Otherwise, you are entitled. Is it not there, Len? Mm. At the time of the acquiring the property, mm. the submission was made that, and the picture was created by the petitioner that if this present land is a vacant land. Subsequently, after passing the order, that facts are not came into the law. Mm. By way of filing the present written petition before this honorable court, so we have stated that the position is still now not taken by the concerned authorities, and therefore uh, we are not in position to disburse that. Reason being that the several structure has been carried out by the concerned party. By uh, the dishonorable court directed to file the affidavit, the present petitioner filed the affidavit stated that there is no possession. Uh, subsequently, we have filed the affidavit and uh, produced the everything on the record. That, and we have also carried out the functional. And we have proved that there is a position which was taken by the third party recently in the year 2023, February. We have carried out the functionama. We have received the receipt of the rent received by the present petitioner. He is aware of everything that the, there is a third party uh, right has been created. So now what the authority wants to carry out further, that valuation part of the structure aspect is required to carry out. This process is uh, taken place. All right. So according to you, according to you, the third party is still occupying. No, yeah. no, no, no. You're not in a position to utilize that. No, You're not been, so not been us. Factually incorrect statements are being made. Therefore, I take three minutes and explain. Mm -hmm. Maran, it's yes. a section four notification mm -hmm. of 17 October 19, not this date, 2012. Section six notification, 8 July. 2013. Mm. Now then, uh, award was uh, somewhere in 15, to 2nd May 15. Now mutation is done in their favor, the government, in 2018 June. Now, I'll tell my lords to, my learned friend has passed it over, but let me complete my facts. Mm. Who said this? Ki? Par koi na ko That's affidavit of 23. Mano, they have mutated in their name. I, I permit me to address now. I have not interrupted you. Mano, in 2018, the land is mutated in their name, page 104. Now, in 23, after two orders passed by two, my lords, chief justices, which I'll read, Mano, they are not giving me a single pie, nor they are objecting to disbursement. Anato. Mano, this land, section 4, section 6, 12, 13, 15 award, 18 mutation. Now, I'll tell my lords, is government, collector, powerless, and police only. This is going to be allotted to police. And they are, they are saying, somebody has come. Marat, 
first affidavit was filed by one Mr. B.K. Patel. He never said a word about it. He simply said, plot number 55, I pointed out, I have no plot number 55, but I'll read it. But what I'm trying to point out to my Lord is, there is a delay in similar matter. This court has passed stricter against this type of land acquisition. Very same person, I'll point it out. Now, issue is, but these, some orders of the court may be read with. But I have been, but if they don't want land, let them make a statement. Price right now is double, I take away the land. But what are they talking? Neither they give money nor give me land. Now may I read certain orders? Sir? No. Stop. Mr. Danna, um, please wait. We have read the earlier orders also of uh, this court. Yes. We could also see that there are a couple of affidavits which have come. Yes, two affidavits. Uh, uh, correct. May I and, and please wait, please wait. It says two things. One, constant is that the petitioners in favor of the third party has executed a sale deal. Which I have filed an affidavit. Correct. Ma and they right. said there are seven survey numbers, 7, 8, 12, 13, yes, 14, 15, said, and 16. Like it's saying which one? There are seven survey numbers. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be given with interest 2 crore and 50 lakhs. And Maro, they don't do anything since 10 years. May I therefore point out? All right. We can do one thing. No, it, it is a matter which is which will require a little consideration but and it will but today today mm -hmm. have they acquired my land for six and award award is there today i have not received a single fine and we understand we board also board. we also are concerned about it but at the same time we need but to also redress or address their grievances about some transfer that has taken place so can i can we no no mr tanna we this will we will peremptorily fix it on the day you want it next week itself and please be ready for the hearing. They have to ask. They have filed one affidavit. I'll take two more minutes. They have filed two affidavits. Mm -hmm. In the first affidavit filed in 2015 by land acquisition officer, mm -hmm. not a murmur, not a murmur. I'm reading, and nothing has been said at all. Now, now these courts say order will be passed. Principal amount is also not given to me. And therefore, this court says appropriate order will be passed. Now, I again point out two things. In 2015, there was no murmur. Let me point out in which plot it is. I have seven plots. You don't give me a single pie? Yeah, plot. Okay. The amount is already deposited in the year 2020. It is just a matter of this court dispersing it, for which the court needs to hear both the sides and then decide as to whether, in fact, on his part, this transfer has made it impossible for you to actually take it over. Correct, correct. One person five, I will part. All seven courts are open, right? Are they powerless? Only two plots. I have. Why are they seeking money for five courts? Uh, I have seven plus two and a half plus three more. Well, this is nothing else but delaying tactics. As good old days, if you don't put a right in for huh? his money is required to be given. I'm saying five plus. Value of it is there or not? Mr. Danna, had we had more time, we would have done it. Well, it's not a. It's not right now because let they, they will need to be heard. Well, they can't be straightway. I mean, it's. No, no, it will, it but will be the same. Nor I get Four, six, award as evidence. Special civil application, double one, three, four, seven of 2020. Much grievance is raised by the learned senior advocate, Mr. Tanna, that out of seven survey numbers which have been acquired, not a single penny is given to the petitioner. He has also further urged that the affidavits on the part of both the sides have been already filed. This concerns the city survey number 7, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, which are the lens acquired by the authority. And the allegation is in respect of the petitioner 
having transferred it. The two of the survey numbers, city survey numbers, 12 and 16, right? 12 and 16 to the occupier, which has made it impossible for the state to actually make use of this. Instead of two, only two is vacant other than... Uh, okay. you, my London friend is not allowed to speak on the only one. Let, let it say, sir, I will pass on that. I have the instruction of ah, the concern so officer is also appear. Please wait, please wait. The two I will pass the affidavit part to that. No, it is your your affidavit is uh, which is saying this. These are the two which are occupier. There are twelve and sixteen. These are the two occupiers. You have said uh, it is no. They said seven, eight, twelve, thirteen. There are no occupiers on city survey thirteen and eight. There is no construction. The city survey seven a pile of brick is found, but there is no occupant. After they cannot take. They are the state, they are the collector, they are the police. We are um, the special, we find in the affidavit in reply of additional special land acquisition officer, Mr. J.B. Baraya. <clears throat> please wait, please wait, Mr. Tanna, please wait. That the city survey number 7813, though there are no occupants of the land, 13 and 8, there is no construction. And on city survey number 7, a pile of brick is found, but there's no occupant on the seed land. However, according to him, Rishna is collecting the rent from the occupants of the survey number which are under acquisition, the two of which have been specified. And therefore, according to him, he will not be in the position to. Yet the compensation, which has been already deposited. Paragraph, this is strongly being resisted by the other side. We are given to understand that in the year, in the year 2020, the amount of compensation is already deposited with the school. Yes. In As this matter would require, a little help. considering the fact that for all seven survey numbers, the petitioners have not received any petitioner has not received any amount of compensation let the matter be fixed peremptorily for final hearing on <clears throat> keep it on 2nd March 2nd March 2nd March 2nd March in the event of any difficulties or if the matter does not proceed for final hearing on that day, I'm for the reasons beyond the control of the parties, the request on the part of the petitioner for interim compensation for those survey numbers where there is no occupancy, he would be entitled to press for. Just take one more line. Just if mutation, their name since five years, are they powerless? Mr. Kathiria, had we had more time, we would have invested it. Let it be argued on that day. And we've seen already this, whatever, if, if this can be finally put an end to, good enough. If it cannot be, then at least for those survey numbers where there is no occupancy, let him have an entitlement for the amount. For, you cannot, I mean, for the entire, uh, this thing, there cannot be denial. Anyway, we have, we're placing I it. Be for because 10 years yes, anyway, that you can just make a request. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
All right. Gajar, right. right. LPA 221. Workout board. Mr. RS. Mr. Shah, we are aware that you are waiting. Please wait for a while. Hmm? The facts are in 2019, on 19 September 2019, a preliminary scheme is sanctioned. Under you given a copy to Learned AGP? So this is between me and the corporation. No, the state is a party. So town planning, the state will be okay. implementing. The copy is given to Learned AGP. Oh, have... Who will be appearing? But today, essentially, because we are challenging a notice which is given by the corporation, the mm -hmm. facts are that on 19 September 2019, a preliminary scheme was sanctioned, mm -hmm. under which I have been given a certain final plot. That final plot has to be taken from the original owner and has to be given to me. That mm -hmm. that should have happened in 2019. It did not happen. So I filed the petition making a grievance that please implement the scheme. Mm -hmm. The owner who was losing the land filed a petition challenging the preliminary scheme. Now, because that petition, when it came up before this honorable court, the order at page number two petitions were there because order at page number 34 was passed on 27 September 2022, where a direction is issued, the petition is disposed of as premature, as notice under section 68 was yet to be issued. At page 34 and at page 36, para 6 at the bottom, in view of the above, the present petition cannot be entertained at this stage as it is premature. However, it is clarified that the respondent authority shall follow necessary procedure under section 68 of the Act read with rule 33 of the rules by giving opportunity to the present petitioner to represent his case. You know, the similar order was also passed in the petition which was filed by the person who's, who was losing the land. Two petitions came to be disposed of on the same day by separate orders. After this, a notice was issued under Section 68. Just wait, you're aware of the fact that one of us was page 34. Page 34 one of us has passed an order. You do not. No, it will not. All right, I'm fine. Not, just bringing it to what now. I'm trying to show is that implementing this order, uh, uh, 68 notice was issued. After 68 notice, an order was passed. Mm -hmm. An order was passed by which the objections were overruled. And an order is passed by the corporation saying that I am entitled to possession. Possession should be given to me. Against that, a petition is preferred by the person who is losing the land. That petition was preferred sometime in November of 2022. In that petition, a notice came to be issued. There was no interim relief. The corporation implemented its own order under 6833 and handed over possession to me. So because that petitioner made a grievance that this is all being done to override the process, etc. When the matter, that petition came up for hearing, because I am not a party there. I am not being heard. I am not even joined as a party. So mm -hmm. when that petition comes up before the uh, learned single judge. Right. No, there's nothing to worry. It's just some reparation work is going on. So because when that first petition, I'll call that the first petition, when it comes up for hearing, a grievance is made that this is overreaching the process, etc. The certain orders are passed. Eventually, because the corporation makes a statement that will take back the possession. This is all done without hearing me. Corporation thereafter, because this order is passed last week, because I think on 16th, and corporation on the very next day gives me a notice on 17th, saying that you hand over possession by 21st. I therefore filed a substantive petition saying that I have been put in possession in implementation of a town planning scheme. I am not even heard in that matter. There is no direction. Corporation makes a statement and issues a notice. Once again, invoking Rule 33, which power is not available with the corporation. Because all that I am saying is that all, they, the first petition is pending. In my petition, also notice is issued. 
I said that please, in the meantime, ask the corporation to stay its hands. Anyway, why has the corporation done it when the petition is pending? But the corporation was the, the earlier order. If your lordship sees, mm -hmm. because there were uh, there was a constant grievance being made by me that the scheme is not being implemented. A mm -hmm. town planning scheme which is finalized in the year two thousand and nineteen was not being implemented. So I had filed a petition here. So that petition, along with the petitioner of the owner who was questioning the preliminary scheme, both were taken up. In both, there is a common order that under 6833, you will decide these issues. That issue got decided under 6833. That order is challenged. There is no relief in that petition. The corporation was duty bound to implement the town planning scheme. That is what the law says. It was going back to the judgment of the Supreme Court in advanced builders. The courts have said that a town planning scheme which is sanctioned and becomes a part of the act has to be implemented. The corporation implemented. Because my grievance is that in the petition which is filed. It's fine, but then the, you have already filed the petition. You are asking for the interim relief, right? Sir, I am saying that I I can't today be dispossessed. Court hasn't said no to you. Court has simply said that without hearing the other side, we will not be in a position to do it. No, that. my I, the protection is not granted. Please see the impact. Correct. But then what kind of a, uh, this thing, you know, you yes, are, you are if contemplating? Your see, yes, if your lordship would see the... When the court has made it returnable on 24th, but that see, is just the... Just... But please see the order which is passed by the corporation. Please see mm. page 24 of the petition. This is what I was challenging. Mm. This is an order passed on 17th February 2022. Yes. After recording that a petition is filed, etc., a statement mm. has been made by the corporation. Second paragraph. Tiarbat Manjur Nagar Ratna Yojana चालू कोटे मैटर दरमियान कब्जो सौंपी कार्यवाही करेल हो बाबते नामदार गुजरात हाईकोर्ट द्वारा गंभीर लेल हो ज्यादी उपरोक्त कोर्ट प्रकरण कोर्ट समक्ष पड़तर हो प्रश्नवाड़ी जगह अर्थे करेल कार्यवाही नामदार गुजरात हाईकोर्ट अवलोकन मुजब रद बातल गणी प्रश्नवाड़ी जगह कब्जो नामदार गुजरात हाईकोर्ट सोल तेवीस हुकम जनव्या मुजब तात्कालिक असर थी मूल जमीन मलिक दिनेश चंद्र वखारिया ने चौबीस बे हजार तेवीस ंगलिंग The petition. There was an earlier round of litigation where both I was there, the uh, owner of the land was there. Both were both petitions were disposed of, and we were told that you go under 6833. Now, there is a very detailed four-page order has been passed under 6833 by the corporation, rejecting all his objections. The corporation was duty bound to implement the scheme. Yes, Look, fine, but at the same time, it was SC was pending uh, of the other side. Correct, Mr. SC. Uh, therefore, Mr. The submission is that mere pendency of SCA. Mm -hmm. in with the greatest respect cannot be a ground for for not implementing a town planning scheme the authorities are bound to implement the town planning scheme and more often than not in absence of interim relief they are bound because it happens day in and day out so unless because there is interim relief the corporation cannot be faulted for implementing a town planning scheme which is the mandate of the law it has to be implemented immediately now in 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 pursuance of that i have been put in possession sir i am in a position to demonstrate today itself That that petition lacks absolute uh, uh, no merit. Now, in in such a situation, to take the possession back from me and to hand it over to the petitioner of that But petition merely because eventually it is uh, ultimately 
you have you are claiming the entitlement over that land yes. isn't it i'm entitled and it is yes and the court was in fact considering that part of it at the behest of the other side or not but then the fact remains that you're going to be given so no, right now what I what was it that you you'd been given uh, at the what was the date on which you had been given? 4th so January? 4th January 2023. January. And you, you intimated the court on which date that this had been Immediately time. thereafter. Because the, the orders are there because if the Honorable Court sees the So when, when the uh, the petitioner uh, whose presence the court had said that is a must before it grants you any kind of interim relief, so Milos, was was it uh, present when this had happened? Yes, he was absolutely present. And Milos, the, please see the orders. That this one, on, not on one occasion interim relief is pressed. In, in November of 2020-2022, simple notice is issued by this honorable court in his petition. And thereafter, time is sought. Whereafter, corporation takes over possession and hands it over to me. Because implementation of a town planning scheme can never be stalled unless there is an interim order. Now, if the corporation implements a town planning scheme, because can, can a petitioner be heard to say that this is overreaching the process? And to Of 2023 in special CA 2964 of 2023. The state will be represented by whom? State will be number one. Surat Municipal Corporation is already there. The executive engineer uh, Surat Mahanagar Palika, you will be representing. Town planning officer, you will be waving. Not that. And five also, four and five. Number one. Uh, four and five. One, four and Mr. Five. Sharma would wave. Number two and three. Yes, Mr. Anawati would wave. Urgent notice. Number six, returnable tomorrow. Sure. Make it returnable tomorrow. Serve it. Direct, Direct service today. Good number. Very good. Number six only. The others are waving. So we'll, we'll take Other are waving. So others six. are waving. Yes. So serve it to number six. Got you wave. You wave. But there are can I see? Can I suggest two things? Yes. Please, of course, take direct service. But in the meantime, I may be permitted to send an email to the party and also serve it upon the lawyer who's appearing in the other petition for that respondent number six. You sir, where are they staying? They are in Surat. They are in Surat. So, oh, it, you the, but is that an official email of theirs? Is there any official email? So what I will do is I will. I will if there is an official email, we'll permit you to serve through that. We so do not want any kind of uh, this thing. So, on because this. therefore, I am. Therefore, I am suggesting that the learned advocate who is representing the petitioner in that matter, I'll serve. I will also send an email if I find an email ID. And in addition to that, direct service can. So I did the advocate would agree to uh, represent. So, because I'll do all. Three. I'm not, saying, I'm not, it's not a subscription. I'm well to all people. Permitted to serve on an official email ID. There shall not be any dispute with regard to the email. The service to the learned advocate representing the party in the special CA also is permitted here. I mean, till tomorrow, they will, of course, not. Of course, I mean, he yes, is not in a hurry. He is not in a hurry. He is more concerned about the court. Yeah. The court. So order not being implemented. Therefore, we are keeping it tomorrow. Yeah. Otherwise, why would we? Why was the need for us to keep it God. tomorrow? I'm open. I'm in okay. And we do not want to tilt the balance unless we hear the other side and find their difficulties. Once they come and say that both of you wanting to go before the learned judge concern, we will say all right. Just let it be. In that case, the status quo. But not without that. Right. Twenty-four. Lordship, we keep next week, my All right.
whenever. Gajar Bhai, you can give us uh, Mr. Hurt's uh, matter. Please give it. No. Let's go to In this petition under Article 226 of the Constitution of India, this court on 4th October 22 issued the notice with the following order. You can uh, reproduce the order. The learned AGP Ms. Shruti Patak had appeared for the state and from time to time, various orders came to be passed by this court. We have heard both the sides, the written submissions, the written notes you can see, been tendered by the parties, which are as follows. You can make it a part giving the suggestions also, and on the part of the state, giving the assurance to adhere to the strict implementation of the policy. No grievance remains in the wake of this assurance from the state, except that there should be a stricter mechanism for implementation. The suggestions given on the part of the petitioner for the larger interest and out of their love for the mother tongue, insist on the strict implementation of the GR of 13th April 2018, which has already been assured by the learned AGP. We are conscious of the fact, as mentioned in the written submissions, that this has been also picked by the decision of the Apex Court in case of English Medium Students Parent Association versus the state of Karnataka, as well as 1994, 1 SSC page 550, and the decision of Usha Mehta versus state of Maharashtra, 2004, 6 SSC 264. The proposal for a statute to come in place for this purpose can be suggested by this court as it is eventually the legislature which shall it, it is in the wisdom of the legislature to decide this aspect the petitioners since have been have already made the representations to the ministry and they have been assured of the best implementation of this year. Nothing for the needs, nothing is uh, further sought for except the due implementation according to this court. Unless there is a mechanism for Stricter implementation of the GR coupled with some sanctions, there will <clears throat> be a tendency to evade it. The state can deliberate upon it and decide the same. With this, petition is disposed of. That goes without saying. There's no if this is, it is an assurance from their side. And you can also add that the state has not treated this as an adversarial litigation, nor has the petitioner acted in that fashion. It is only to serve the cause that this PIL has been preferred and that it had been aptly responded by the state. From the next Yes, that in her written submission she has already said, but then you can also say that from the next academic year, 
all concerned who had so far shown the lapses have ensured and if not done the state will be taking the necessary steps in that regard we have already done it we have not having schools but schools in general that from next academy year they will have to teach and there will be sanctions that they can implement because listen, now the new academic sessions were given the new NOC. Anyway, we have said let there be some sanction on your part, you can deliberate upon it. On our part, we have said that you also need to make a law so that everyone comes to know about it. Here, there was no specific prayers with respect to no, we have seen we are suggesting, and we have said it is your wisdom. Nobody can tell the parliament or the legislature as to what needs to be done. The court can merely say, suggest, recommend. Considering that uh, Maharashtra has done it, Karnataka has done it, other states, the Supreme Court having taken note of that has already said that yes, this needs to be done and therefore, all right. Well, what kind of permission? Maharaj? Maharaj. No. Let it be in all matters will go because we have already more than 48 matters tomorrow, 70 matters, right? 70 matters tomorrow. It may not be possible. If there is an extreme, extreme urgency, it is different thing. Otherwise, let it go on 27th and 28th. Uh, one matter we cannot uh, say no is who's appearing uh, as your opponent? Okay, Mr. Sanjanwala, you're appearing. No, 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 we won't have time. We won't have time. She has been uh, uh, making an earnest request for the uh, for the reason that uh, there is a stay already granted on your, uh, you know, uh, and this, but this is a 2013 recovery. We are, we are aware, we are aware, but then at the same time, so I am, I am, I am ready to go on, but where am I saying? I am ready. Let it, let it be. We, uh, we can have it on either 28th or 1st March. Which date do you want? Date Which date like you want? In her matter, we'll pass an order and say that this matter requires urgent attention. However, due to paucity of time, we'll not be in a position to hear the parties. Mm -hmm. It is agreed by Lanet Senior to advocate Mrs. Sanjanwala that on the next date of hearing, which has been given as per the convenience of both the sides, the matter shall be heard. Yes. To be listed in first ten matters yes. on first March. First ten matters. First ten. Yes. Mm. Yes. Twenty six. What was the matter? Only requesting for an interim date. Let it go on twenty seventh. Mm -hmm. so may I take another date for 27, 28? Please say, 20, take any, any other date. No, no, but then it's so 31st March is the uh, date, right? So let it be the next week it has been. It's not, there's no time. So let Real it be. Number 30, 31, maybe on 27th. Whatever date the court master can give you. He'll be happily giving you anything up beyond 27th. <laughs> so... Number one, Mr. Ashish Desai, uh, Mr. Punesh Kailod. Yes, now uh, what remains? There is an order of mm. the Honorable Court mm. that a notarized copy is tendered. It is notarized only at New Zealand, not in India. And therefore, we are returning the document back to Mr. Desai. And on the next date, it should be notarized and placed on record. That was on 5th of August. Mm. My Lord Justice Desai is right. On 21st of October, I placed the notarized document on record, my Lords. And that was taken for a comparison with the uh, photocopy. Mm. And then after that, it was to be written back to me. Mm. Last time, my Lords directed that the YouTube may be recording may be checked that on 21st October, I have tendered it or not. But that is not available on internet. But oh, it was available it. according to the court on by IT. Let this be it been checked. Huh? It is there. What is there? Video is there on YouTube also as well as Okay, it is there. 
it is there in the system i am not joining an issue on that once it is not there i don't want anyone anyone to waste the time for that no no he is saying that it is there on uh, on but uh, somehow we have tried our level best even the rajesh tar judicial i met him three four times he has also tried his level best it is not there my lords somewhere See, it is client also, must have kept it your client must have kept it, it is that that client it was taken on record my lords and it was not returned back my lords otherwise i would have not filed ia to return it back to me my lords may i request what may i request request my lord uh, my lord uh, take the uh, the uh, the conditions terms and condition of the uh, agreement on 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 record my lord by an order so that there may not be further future difficulties in between the parties my lord that can be a small for this because otherwise we may say it was a same article you did in fact this it may be authenticated by the registry of this court and should be minded to both the parties the remittance application one of 22 in special criminal office 3419 of 20 the issue of uh, original settlement agreement is not as yet resolved the office uh, the learned uh, advocate mr ashish desai or you can say the learned advocates on both the sides have jointly made a request that what is far more important for them is to bring it on record that they have agreed to mutually settle these disputes that fact also has been noted by this court the court has also in earlier orders recorded that aspect <laughs> considering the fact that uh, the copy which is on the record is uh, tendered at the relevant point of time and this court had also considered as uh, has uh, considered the factum of their settlement at the relevant point of time that a certified copy of this be taken on record the certified copy can be given to both the sides the terms of agreements are as follows you can just write down all the terms which will be binding to the parties as agreed to by both the sides what may be required eventually is the uh, for permanently severing the ties is can be also worked out by the parties for which and divorce by mutual consent can be preferred relying on this very agreement Okay. Sorry, cases, all the cases which he has filed against. Sorry, my friend. Yes, it is agreed to by the petitioner to withdraw all the cases which are pending <coughs> against the respondent. She may also happily respond to the same and let for the purpose of the children. Who are three in number and now going to be continued with the petitioner? The parties continue to act as the matured parents. Chair, please. please. Petitioner is disposed. We are highly obliged for the patient hearing for this marathon matter, and also after disposal, also whatever was the hearing, my lords, we are highly obliged for that. Highly obliged. Yes. Hearing yes. number two. Um, K B Udara, Unit Seven and Feeder, Door of Yes, the order passed by my lords. Yes, this is the affidavit, my lords. Yeah. The time frame within which we would be in a position to comply with the order.
can you see? So for this to, <clears throat> to uh, the petitions of this special CS, Please. you will be implementing in 10 weeks time. For the rest of them, uh, there are directions uh, right. they can make a representation to you. Yes. There is and, one suggestion. Yes. In fact, uh, uh, only how, genuine one minute, the order of the Honorable Division Bench, Honorable Justice Devani and Honorable Justice Supaya, kindly have a glance at what it's a general direction for all. In fact, my learned friend should have pointed out para three in respect of one special CA 10953 of 14, para three only. I will give just para thereafter. Where is, where is it? In the order of 10953. Please, 14. order pass in later spread appeal 907 of 16. Whether my lords are having none. LPA 907, that main pivotal judgment of the Honorable Division Bench. Mm -hmm. 907, the first course title. So 19 July 2018 judgment, are you saying? Please, your lordship, same. Now in course title, mm -hmm. lordships will find LPA 1812 of 17. All right, which para? Which para? Uh, which paragraph? Uh, uh, paragraph 3, your lordships. Paragraph 3? Please, your lordships. Mm -hmm. What does it in say? In special CA, I'll... Uh, 10953 of... 10953 14. of 14 and other matters which... Correct. So, similar reliefs are on... These are the prayers. They have prayed for NPPA, revised rates, etc. Now, in same... Uh, another paragraph, paragraph 4 on the mm -hmm. same page, similar reliefs were also prayed for by the read petitioners. Hmm. Or special CF 14364 of 16, 13738 of 16. These are the two other matters that's for which they say. Yes, now, my prayers are also similar. That's what division bench, honorable division bench observes. Kindly have a glance at now para 30, your lordships. Page 69, para 29 and 30. Those two petitions. Anyway, what we now, my, we, what I want to pay only. One minute is over, Mr. Majmudar. Lordships, I, I, but this. Uh, Miss, Mr. Majmudar, one no, seven. Now, just uh, directions are general. Kindly see para 29. No, 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 please wait. Special 17245 of 16 and 17275 of 16. And Lordship. the court says 18114 of 16. They are be being allowed. Because they, those directions were not issued and therefore, Honorable Division Bench. Allowed the same since they were tagged. And these directions are general impune communication. So and so are cost set aside. Okay. Respondents. Now, this is for all. Respondents are hereby directed to give benefit of 15% NPPA on revised pay under 6 pay and 7 pay. The payment. This is general. will permit you to make a representation will will permit you and they have shown their uh, this thing uh, inclination for, so far as three petitions right three they petitions specific directions for these three petitions correct these three petitions yes. within 10 weeks in yes. the meantime you can make your this thing Only some and observe. again 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 when it comes to deciding the question of uh, contempt once they're making a specific, uh, you know, inclination for in 10 weeks, it will not be question of any uh, right now, the contempt one. Two, for those, if there is a question of interpretation, you can make a representation Only and otherwise you'll be flawed. Some observations may kindly be made that in similar cases, as it referred to Today and considered by my lords, pers that pers pers similar the... cases, similar treatment should be given without... But this is far fetched. Yeah, I went with your lordship. Mm -hmm. On last para, the uh, petition stated, I found it a little confusing and tricky. They have not come with the specific date that from which date the petitioner, these three petitions, from which date they would be entitled for Ravat Pay Commission. It will be from the date when one the one court one. has said. They're not going to decide it. On the seventh pay commission, it will have to be from the date on which the court has said. It shall need to the be published. The court said seventh pay, but there are different please interpretations. Wait, please wait. You are allowed communication dated so-and-so, so-and-so are hereby coached. 
Respondents are directed to give benefit of 15% NPP on revised pay under 6th pay and 7th pay commission. Payment of NPA to the petitioner shall be restored. Their pay scale pension shall be refixed and paid accordingly. The recovery of the amount towards NPP is quashed and set aside. And any amount which is recovered from this will be refunded. Entire exercise shall be carried out within a period of four weeks from the date of receipt of copy. Rule is made absolute. So in your prayer, you have sought this to be fixed and released by way of 15%. So whichever date the court has granted, it will have seven pay implementative date is one one sixteen. To that aspect the, the, from the date of the court's order that will be good enough in fact seven pay is implemented from 1116 yeah. so lord six may say the government's notification date would be the date which will be the yes. notification of date if of what seven pay commission is made implemented from first so, january 16 came in 2018 or 2019 probably giving effect yes. To the seven pay commission from 1 1 2016. 16 possibly has been given, but not the 17. 17 has come much later. So I think it is a possible. Which date it has come into play? The seventh pay commission? Seventh pay commission, so it has been uh, adopted by the revision of payrolls 2016. Yes. Hmm. And as per the government resolution dated 16 8 2016, as well as the notification dated 19 8 2016, which is prior. So on 19th August 2016, it has already come into being. With effect from 116. Just a moment. Seventh pay commission. So yes. whatever you have implemented, from so the let date it. Of the order I may this is a. Hmm. On the date when the order was passed, whereas the notifications have come subsequent there too. The date of the 116 for all benefits, pay fixation rule 7. Maybe the Sujrat Civil Services rules, categories of government employees, rules existing pay. Sir, rule 7 fixation 1116. This is a seven pay commission. The notification is subsequent to my order passed by the Honorable Division Bench. Sorry. The notification which has been issued for the purpose of Maras except so the... NPA and all that here the NPA also the existing may be multiplied everything those details have come. 
example, fixation of pay increment you have al already taken into consideration. But seven, there was no discussion as such. Where? The order the division bench. No, no. Division bench has said that it will be, it is said hereby cost respond directed to give the benefit of 15% NPPA on revised pay under 6th pay and 7th pay commission. So this, if you have made it uh, implemented uh, by way of a notification on 19th August 2016, accordingly give. Lordships. Why would, why, what would preclude you from giving? Because even suppose you are giving it to right now to these three, but uh, otherwise to rest of them, you're going to implement it eventually. Yes. You are you are going to give it from 19th August 2016. The the revision, maybe the areas part of it, uh, you can decide along with the rest. So from uh, uh, 19th August 16 till the date of court's order, it could be along with the rest. And you can. Hmm. Therefore, as I had pointed out specifically, that mm -hmm. in the entire judgment, Marils, there is unfortunately there is no discussion with respect to the seventh pay commission. Marils. But so therefore, Marils, in fact, my respectful submission to the honourable court Marils, would be that from the date of order, Marils, it would be applicable. However, we are we are right now seeing it will be from the date of order. Please. And we will also say that since the notification is of nineteenth August two thousand sixteen. Whenever you give to the rest, you will have to give it to them from 16 to 18. If that you are implementing for the rest, they can't be deprived of that. So that part right now, we may not insist on. But there are different dates for different cadres of the same department. So they may not create further confusion. So what I pray, let it be as per this notification, pay fixed. I may mean, request the date of the order, maybe the Maras date, which we may Maras fix for the purpose of granting. Otherwise, Maras, this will lead to a very precarious situation because those who are, I had pointed out that the senior to me have not been granted the benefits. They have been subsequently granted the benefits by virtue of October 2022 notification. Because this will then create a situation of anomaly. No, we understand your difficulties yes. where you're saying that this is an anomaly, but then the fact remains that these are the persons who had come before the court. So therefore, yeah. So they should not be put to the disadvantage this wise that eventually, if you decide, maybe we do not know as to for which cadre you're deciding, but then if you decide for the others from 19th August 2016, these people will be deprived of Please, your from that. That should not happen. So that is what our anxiety. So right now we can clarify that. We can tell that. Right now, my humble request to the Honorable Court would be that this uh, it would be from the date of the judgment. Right now, we are saying yes, but we are not closing their right, you yes. know, permanently on this aspect. Please, your lordship. No, not representation. We'll be making it as a part of our order, yes. but they will not be insisting for this to happen so far as uh, the areas is concerned from August 16 to this. Please. So that part we will not right now saying, but if you say that if you give it for the rest, you will need to give it to them. Only one. To clarify, the notification says August 16 is a date, but it is from 1116. I will not trouble further your Lordship kindly. Civil, civil application 440-2019. The affidavit in compliance of the order is passed, uh, is, is produced. Dr. Falguni Surikan Thakar, the Director of Animal Husbandry, has filed this affidavit. You can reproduce this. Considering the fact that uh, the petitioners of a special CA 1274516, and 18114 as uh, issue of revision of uh, rates of NPPA for 7th Pay Commission is being given within a period of 10 weeks. So far as those petitioners are concerned, let the same be given on the issue of uh, the grant. It will be from 19 July 2018, as that is the day on which the court has passed the judgment and order. We are given to understand that uh, by way of a notification, 19th August 2016, the rules of Gujarat Civil Services into brackets revision of pay rules 2016 have come into force from 1st January 2016. We will, we shall keep this window open for the petitioners for them to get 
the areas from 1 1 2016 to the date of the judgment that is 19 July 2018, as and when it is being made available to the rest of those persons who are in the very kind of uh, paragraph with regard to the other employees. As uh, there, is a, there is a question of interpretation as to whether in a common judgment and order, in absence of their prayers for the seventh pay commission, the same had been granted or not, we deem it appropriate to direct them to make a representation before the state in this regard. In the, and the same be decided within 10 weeks. Along with this, you decided yes. in the event of their dissatisfaction, the recourse open under the law. Only one thing. Will not S be. Similar treatment may be my contention so that they may not deny us. No, no, they will not be denying you, but then this is a matter of interpretation. interpretation. Right now, it's not something, you know, which we can straight away say then that this is what the court has done. We, we, we have said that. We have said that. No, no, 10 weeks is 10 weeks from today. It's a 10 weeks. May I request one last ask? Table court has uh, ordered that uh, the issue of uh, the areas from 116 is kept open as and when the other employees should be given. That that word will definitely come in other. They will say that we have not given to any other petition. They will be giving. They will be giving to the others. So therefore, this we are granting it. It's, they have not granted to your cadder to anybody right now. That was her anxiety. Yes. She thought that this may create anomaly. You are entitled in getting it on account of the fact that you have succeeded in this. But then now to say at this stage that you interpret it and give it from 1196 when others have not been given, we're not keeping your window closed. We're saying let this be, but then at the same time, at the time when they are giving it to the others. I Please. think that's, that's something, it's a balance which one will need to strike. Lord, my number may be referred to for sir, making representation. Sir, putting end to the case. My matter number may be referred to in the order. Obliged Special say 14364 of 16. Lordships. Obliged.